fuck you doing? Remember that name? Good pizza with three Z's, baby. Three Z's. What's up, gang? Welcome back to the Good Pizza Show. We got a great episode for you this week. The homie Dave from Fur Gardens is in the building. Look, he's an indoor, outdoor, mixed light depth assassin. He's been growing, moving, and shaking through these parts for many moons. He's got a great story. He's literally a Sacramento legend. I can't wait for y'all to hear his story, man. They're doing big things, man. Shout out to Fur Gardens. Shout out to the homie Dave. We'll see y'all on the show, man. Peace, love, good pizza. So, uh, so yeah, man. Let's 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 dive right into it, bro. For sure. So, um, before we hop into the cannabis and the preferred journey, let's talk about young Dave, man. What was the what was the come up like in Sacramento, bro? You're man, from Sacramento, right? Born and raised. That's right. Yeah, That's Sacramento. Right. I bleed Sac. That's right. You, <laughs> you motherfucking know? right. Bro. I feel like I'm one of the only one of the only ones in the game that's been born, raised in Sac, and still in Sac because I love it. most people bounce. You know, there's yeah, a lot of I've noticed that. opportunity outside of Sac, but I've noticed that. Yeah, I stay in Sac and 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 still take the opportunity outside. Hell but yeah, uh, yeah. It's been chill. Um, what was the, what was like the what was your young younger days like, bro? What was it like in your household? Household was solid. Uh, I had a kind of a weird growing up. My parents are hippies, so my dad like built a house in Oregon before he moved to Sacramento. Okay. My mom was like an entrepreneur. She had a shop called oh, the Magic shit. Mushroom. So Love that. <laughs> yeah, so a head shop in like the seventies. <laughs> oh. So they were fucking. They're they're like hippie ish, you know. No doubt. So anything goes in that house. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah um, bro. Oh, yeah. But we had like, we basically had like a foster home, but it wasn't legit. We kind of just took in any kids that would, that were struggling no and shit, needed a place man. to stay. Yeah. Wow. So it was, it was wild. All older kids that would, you know, they were into fucking all different kinds of drugs or whatever. And yeah, my parents yeah. were chill with it. No shit. So that was, that was my upbringing in, uh, in Sacramento. So hold on. So. What would qualify them to come stay at your crib? They'd just be like a friend of a friend, and yeah. you know, they, we'd all hang out in a big group, basically. And, yeah. and it, you know, once they realized that it was open game, there's free food, and and they can come, you know, have a place to stay. That's what would qualify them. It's no pretty shit, much whoever, man. yeah, wow, whoever man. really needed it. Wow, you know? bro, yeah. that's that's didn't interesting have a family, you know, to grow up like that, bro. That and there's a, there's a lot of that in uh, Sac, at least when I was growing really? up. Really? Oh yeah. No kidding, man. Yeah, a shit ton of kids that were didn't want to be at their homes, you know? Yeah, yeah. Wow, we didn't have nothing like that where I was from, man. That was really cool. Your parents opened up the crib. To yeah, it was cool. That caused issues. But I was, I was young, and it caused a lot of issues. Yeah, yeah. I bet. Yeah, How it, young were you at this time? Real young. I mean, that was... Uh, I mean, when that really kicked off, I was probably going into seventh grade, I want to say. Oh, no for shit. The, for that part, yeah. 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 So you certainly got into things a little earlier. Big time. Oh yeah. 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 Before that, just because before it was that, wide right? open, you know what I mean. No doubt. Like being having the hippie parents, it was like, yeah. yeah, I could do whatever the hell I wanted. Yeah. They weren't really tripping. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> I had that situation too. My mom was a hippie, like, to the core. Yeah, and it was kind of free game. Yeah, it's free game, man. It was. Pre- I mean, once you know, once I hit like, you know, my mom knew, and I was smoking weed since I was eleven. Mm. Got yep. busted when I was twelve. Yep. You know, so she knew I was smoking, and then yeah, it was kind of like. Pops moved out, and then it was just like, it was pretty free game. Yeah. She was single, raised by a single mom, you know? Yeah, when so. I was younger, we'd stay at my grandma's. It was like my, I had an older cousin. I think he's like five years older than me, and that's, yeah. that's who, he's a fucking wild-ass dude. Yeah, let's <laughs> talk about him. Uh, What's up with him? Chris, he's, a, he's just, uh, he was just a fucking outlaw, you know what I mean, as a kid. So yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd be beating people up. He, he lived in the hood, and he just, yeah. and he loved me i was like his protege you know yeah hell yeah <laughs> so that's that's where it all started with him did he corrupt smoking you at a young age smoking weed oh fucking super young yeah, yeah. we'd stay at my grandma's house together we, oh, i mean man. i looked up to him he was like my best friend basically yeah. at that time um and he, he's he's solid now he's got kids and he changed quite a bit Good. but he was a fucking dirt bag you know he yeah was, he was yeah his yeah. dad hated him for for most of his childhood, you know, because okay. he just didn't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. So yeah, for so, sure. Yeah, I had a um, I had a cousin similar to that, um, and you know, he used to he used to make me drink alcohol when I was little. Same, oh well, yeah, same. You know shit. what I'm saying? Yeah, when I heard your your story on the uh, first smoke of the day, I was like, holy shit, bro! Yeah. I picture my cousin Dan, bro, like 
dudes from Phoenix, they would come over from to Jersey, you know what I'm saying? We'd be at our grandparents' house, and he it's fucking, on. bro, like, yo, drink, bro. I was like, I don't want to drink. Bitch, drink. That's exactly how he was. Fuck you, 100%. Mean you ain't drinking pussy. Yeah, drink too that bad. shit. I'll fuck, fuck you up. Drink that beer. I'm like, fuck, yeah. dude. Yeah. I just want to smoke a little weed, man. I want to fucking drink, man. We'd be stealing all the booze from my grandma. Oh, you know yeah. I mean? Family parties. Around, snag it. Yeah. Stash in the, in the bushes, bro. Yeah. I had the fat stash. But he made me, he was a bad influence for sure. It's I was terrible. I was crazy. Same. Young. Yeah. He'd just be like, yeah, bitch, bro. you're drinking too fucking bad. Yeah, 10 11 type yeah. shit, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah man. Sure. Thank God I didn't become alcoholic. Same, same. I mean, I, the grow up quick is cool if as long as you don't stay in that it fucking is, that down spot. Once you realize that that's not it, <sighs> it's it's a slippery slope because like growing up fast, like you're 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 ready for the world at a young age. That'll help you later in life. But if you don't slip through those cracks, yeah, and become a crackhead, yeah, ninety percent of them do. Uh, you right, know? you feel me? Yeah, for sure. So you got to make some real decisions. It's all at between a young the ears. Age. Yeah, once you, you know so. Luckily, my parents were very loving, you know, okay. and they really instilled that into me Good. and fucking always would push, like, you're the smartest kid in the world, blah, blah, blah. You could do anything, this Good, and that. Bro. So that was always like, I am the shit, you know? Good, Let's bro. go. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. And were they Even though that? I felt like I was falling off yeah. bad. Yeah. I'd still feel, you know, I'd still go back to that and still have that attitude. That's good, bro. So, yeah. How, how young were you when you remember they started telling you that? As long as you can remember. Yeah, as long as I can remember, yeah. for sure. Yeah, That's dope, bro. 100%. Still uh, to this day. I oh, get that's on the phone with them. Man. Still to this day, it's the same. Oh, I know yeah. they're super proud now. They are, yeah. yeah. I'm sure they were the whole way through, yeah, but yeah. That's, that's sick, bro. Yeah, they were when I was a fuck-up, you know, which yeah. is, I mean, they'd act like they were. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. It depends on how bad it was, but. Yeah, yeah, dude, I feel it. I feel it. Yeah, if you if you tell a kid that, you know, from day one, their whole life, they will believe you. Because from ages one 100%. to seven, your brain is just absorbing and believing everything. You haven't yet formed your own opinions, your own personality, like it's all downloads. Yeah. So that's that carries later in life versus if it's, you were it's traumatized real. or no, like it's definitely beat real. or yeah. fill in the blanks that fucks you up later in life. Yeah, so, so I, do, I do the same to my kids now. I'm like, Me too. You're a fucking genius. Like, oh, Me too. You know, whatever it is, I mean, they're fucking yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> Even if they're not listening, they fucking hear you, bro. They do. They hear you. That's good, man. I love that. I love that. So, all right, boom. Uh, high school, what was that like? I didn't go to high school. I was okay. still down that road. So I've, no shit. And you know they wouldn't like they weren't forcing me to go to school either. So okay. I just wouldn't go. Okay. So I ended up in uh, continuation enough. in Rancho Cordova, if you know where that is. I do. Yeah, my pops was fucking there. bad continuation bad when continuation I was young. School. It was bad. Oh yeah. yeah. All everyone, people would be wearing white tees with XIV on their on their T-shirt. So these kids were big. Damn. Dude. Big ass. Like you know when I went there, I was like. I'm not going here either. There's yeah, no, right. you know, just, this shit ain't for me. So I ended up in homeschool, um, like a charter homeschool. Uh -huh. So like a teacher would come to me once a week. I just hustle the shit out of her yeah. and do what, you know, do what I did. Explain but to I guess, passed. Explain to the guest what's XIV. Uh, so North, like, North Daniel gang. So yeah, yeah. So yeah it was Coast, heavy. It was heavy on, the, heavy on the old school days yeah. in Sacramento. It was North Daniels kind of ran the. Ran the uh, the area, especially yeah. like Ranch Cordova, Del Paso Heights. Yep. Um, a lot of gang activity going on, yeah. but it was it was a trip seeing these kids like that. You know, it's totally different. Yeah, right. Holy kids fuck, kids were dude. yeah on another level. Wild, bro. Yeah. Growing up fast, man. Yeah, growing up fast. And so. they were all kicked out for stabbing people. Probably yeah. not not, not yeah, for yeah. just not going to school because you no want to smoke weed. You know. No doubt. They were kicked out for for a better reason. Yeah, bro. So I ended up there. It was. It seemed like a little prison, you know. Right. Those. I mean, those. It's kind of set up like that, you know. Yeah. Teachers were fucked. They hated life. Oh so. yeah. Oh shit. It was. Uh, there was nothing to learn there. Homeschool was cool. I'm not gonna say I learned too much because it. Yeah. You know, I had teachers that I could kind of hustle into just hey, you know, I didn't do my stuff this time. Blah blah blah. But this is what I got. Yeah. All right. Well, whatever. Yeah. You know, and I passed. There you so go. I graduated high school from there. That's, that's cool, man. Yeah. Good, man. Yeah. So after high school, what happens, bro? <clears throat> where do you, uh, you go from there? What was the plan? Man, I, I didn't have no plan, really. Just doing you, whatever I trapping? could to make money. Yeah, trapping, trapping for sure. For sure. Trapping early, selling Bammer. Oh, yeah. You know um, I always hustled anything I could. I liked making money. So yeah. I was always, you know. 
trying to figure that out. Yeah, we would have been hanging out. I feel like <laughs> back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We would have got some money together. I feel no, like. I know. The, you guys are on another level though on the East Coast. When I'd meet guys, that, <sighs> I'd meet these kids. They they they'd be like 10, 12 years old, and they'd feel like they were twenty five. Yeah, and they would fucking sell you shit and yeah bro give you like a like a half gram for 20 and say it was a gram you know what i mean <laughs> yeah, that was bro. the east coast level yeah oh yeah we didn't have that kind of hustle it was a little slower no doubt yeah. no doubt but it was easier you know yeah because everyone wasn't up on game yeah and you know what you guys are it's a little more spread out here and um the hustle is a little easier here in terms of like all right so you could travel a long distance and still be in the same date with the same tags on your car Mm -hmm. Same license plate. Out by us, like, if you had an hour or two in one direction, you're going to be in another state with some funny-looking plates and a funny look. And there's a lot of little small towns. All these small towns got little municipalities and, co and yeah. local cops. Oh, yeah. So you, you get caught up. You in get there. rolled up quick. You, yeah. You're in a car full of homies, man. That's always been the problem there. Because it, was, it wasn't so bad here as it was there. It's still to, you know, right now. Now everyone's fucking rebellion, right, in New York and New Jersey and all those places because it's like, fuck, before we would smoke weed on the corner, we'd get beat up, go to jail for, like, months. Yeah, now dude. now it's on and popping oh, from what I hear. Bro, yeah. it's on, I, I was just in upstate, but not uh, – Were you? I, yeah, I didn't – I went to, like, the country area. Upstate's you know? beautiful, man. Super nice. I was beautiful. so surprised. I love upstate. Like, was it nobody, first time? a bunch of Amish people. It was not – Oh, yeah, Not dude. what I thought it was going to nah, be. Nah, bro. Upstate's yeah. another world, man. Yeah. Everybody thinks New York is just New York City, right? It's, it's no, really big it state. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. More country than Sacramento by far. Oh, way. The trip. Super yeah. country, bro. Yeah. You don't see shit. It's like, People had hundreds of acres. Yeah, bro. Hundreds of acres. It's like Maine or Vermont vibes is the same shit, bro. Yeah. As soon yeah. as you go upstate, that's it. Yeah. So, no, it was, it was dope. What'd you go up there for, man? Uh, consulting. Oh, nice. Yeah. And I'm working on some license situations in Good, uh, in bro. the East Coast. Yeah, Good, preferred you preferred's on the on the road right now. We're Let's go. hitting up all states I'm possible. It. Yeah, I'm seeing it, bro. But I gotta I gotta see what's going on first. Get a feel for for that. Sure. It's, it's uh, I mean it's it's heavy it's heavy street out there in the East Coast right oh, now. Oh yeah. Heavy heavy. Super. So I don't know how the how the legal game is gonna go. There's like, I know, eleven man. or twelve stores to five seven hundred bodegas you yeah. know what i mean yeah 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 dude so how do you compete with that when you know the it's taxes a tough are one, bro. yeah it's a tough one I, i'm from I'm when i saw the weed was, was garbage in the uh in the legal stores and then the, yeah. you know the bodegas had some better stuff had the heat. yeah because <laughs> yeah. they're taking the trips they got the cali yeah yeah bro they're, TP. On, they're, they're taking the yeah. trips yeah there's hella tp oh, right it's now. all tp <laughs> yeah <laughs> you feel me 100 percent. yeah man um not to jump ahead too far. We're going to go there yeah. for sure. Um, so you're out of high school now. Things are flowing. Get your money. When does, like, uh, cultivation come on the scene? Like, when do you, when do you like, you know what? Fuck it, man. I'm going I'm, to I'm grow this fucking weed, bro. Around 2005 is where I really dove okay. in. Yeah. Nice, we man. started doing outdoor in uh, Yuba County. Okay. Me and my, me and my brother, Tone. That's uh, Uncle Tony over here. You see the stickers? Uncle Tony, hell yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, you know big Uncle Tone from the gang. Do I? Uh, I think you do. Yeah. Have I met Tony? He rocks with me. Yeah. Damn man. He's got the mustache right now. He's kill. He's killing it. He's you a well. He's a welder in the bay. He's a fucking beast. You gotta show me a picture of this fella. Yeah. I'm not. I mean, putting that's him right here. This is the exact. Let me see. Dead nuts. <laughs> that's him. Dead nuts. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Nuts. I, remember, I recognize yeah. this fella. Yeah. Hell yeah. Tony. Tony. Yeah. Great sticker, Tony. <laughs> I'm putting this on something. Goddamn it. Facts. This is fire, bro. Yeah. So you and Tony are up in Yuba. Yeah. Blowing out fields. Yeah, at his mom's house doing, Mom, she has like 40 crap. acres. Let's go. Oh, she's a gangster. Yeah. Fuck yeah. They're Hawaiian, so they fucking get Love down, it. you know? Love it, bro. Um, Hell yeah. But we just started doing hella outdoor. Just okay. Learning and that, you know, I've done like little bullshit at my mom's house before yeah. in the closet and sure. I helped a homie in his like little shed or whatnot. But then yeah. to, to really jump in was like, oh, five, we were doing big outdoor plants. Nice, dude. Yeah, putting oh, them in yeah. the ground and I mean doing big. Oh, big boys! Plants. Yeah. Put them in the ground. Big. I mean, like as big as this room. We were we figured it out. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Yeah, it was on. Let's fucking go. Outdoor bro. was our thing from what the strains? kickoff. What strains did you guys kick off with? Do you remember? So much. Uh, we were popping beans in the beginning. Okay. Uh, Seven oh seven headband was our best. Let's go. Was the was our favorite that we found in like pheno hunt. Um. Just amazing green weed, you know. 
Bless but we ran we ran go. everything. Tons of Bubba Kush. That's what everyone wanted. That yep. You know that pre ninety eight. It was Bubs, man. It was so it was like indoor. You know that outdoor in that cool area in the hills. Literally oh, it looked yeah. like indoor packs. It would be frosted out. Hell yeah. It, it was smoking. It was great. Love it. Even then, yeah. We probably got it. We probably got some of those. You got some of those for sure. We definitely got some <laughs> of those, bro. Because yeah, that was a good wave. That was a good era for us too, man. Yeah, yeah. But we grew everything. I mean, anything you think of, White Widow. Um, yeah. Northern Lights, G13, I mean, strains forever. Forever. All the old shit, Romulan, yeah. fucking. White know. Widow is a great one, bro. A lot of different OGs. You know who used to hold down the White Widow on the East Coast? The fucking biker gangs, bro. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Either the Angels or the Pagans, bro. You can always get some Widow from them cats. Yeah. I, I hate it. Why. I hate I hated that strain, to be Did honest. Did you? Yeah. It was a shitty plant, too. Really? But, you know, I maybe it was just the cuts we got back then but uh because we didn't have seeds of that yeah seeds were just crushing it compared to any any clones that we would get from anyone because people didn't really know how to take care of them at that time i think yeah people would have pests and not know what the hell they were sure sure so like we you know you you just gain that from them which is always a problem yeah but uh fucks the whole party up there's probably diseases and everything that we had no idea yeah dude (laughs) It wasn't. It wasn't as advanced, man. There wasn't as much knowledge. I mean, yeah, for sure. But the seeds were always banging. Oh yeah, those plants are just on another level. And were you guys taking cuts and backing shit up, or just yeah. fucking? Okay, no, we cool. yeah, we set up in the house and had our own little nice, dude. you know, thing going on in there with a bunch of T fives. Just yep. you know, just the fucking the <laughs> the struggle days. Yep. But it was good because outdoor was was cranking out there. It's just a great place to grow. What were you getting for packs back then, bro? 1800. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. For I don't even really remember. I remember 1500 was kind of like the 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 mark, I feel like. Okay. Most, you know, people that would buy boxes would would get them for, they'd be paying 1500 all the way up. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. So it was great. It's great. I mean, that was after the 4k times you know but it was yeah. outdoor people were doing a lot of outdoor up there and i'd use brokers that would come down and you know find the medical shops and everything too okay cool so cool. because there was tons of weed up there you, you'd get beat down oh, you yeah. know selling it up there you had to come down to the to sack yep <laughs> yep to get come the prices to sack and yeah. then uh and just head down to the bay in la and that's where it was the bay was cracking yeah. the bay was mainly where it was cracking in the yeah, beginning the hub yeah the main hub yeah for yeah. sure I yep. hear the I hear the coolest stories. Harborside would pay great money for all of our weed. Oh, shit. Uh, they'd, they'd pay hella bread. Yeah, nice, when it was, it was popping. They were seeing like I don't even know. I feel like they were seeing like thousand people a day or something yeah. when the medical was cracking mm-hmm. over there. Mm-hmm. They were making money. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, they're a powerhouse, man. Mm-hmm. Definitely a part of the history. What's up, pizza fam? It's your boy JP. Good pizza. Check this out. I'm getting a lot of questions on where I can find the fire good pizza. Check this out. We got you covered. We're in NorCal, SoCal, Central Valley, San Diego. We got you covered on the slices. Peep the list. Go check out the shop. Tell them good pizza sent you. Peace, love, good pizza. That's for sure. Yeah. So Yuba, the Yuba spots cranking. Let's, what happens after that, man? Like, what, did you stay at that spot for a while? Did you, yeah, stayed did you there for a long while. Um, stayed there for a long while yeah. until I just, you know, we we kind of he was he got like a girl and was working a ton, and we kind of just were starting to split up and you know slow down. Pack prices weren't as much, so. Mm-hmm. I ended up I ended up coming down the hill a bit and started uh, building out houses. Okay. Doing indoor growth. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And Blowing just out rooms and figuring shit. it, getting experience in that. You know. There you go. Yeah. There you go. I that like was, it. I mean, that's prices were much better in that situation, yeah, and I was kind of I just needed to figure it out. I couldn't just you know I needed to do it on my own. I wasn't just gonna go try and partner with someone else and yeah so i just started doing it on my own and then things just started rolling fast went to warehouses and then from there look at us now you know nice yeah yeah for sure yeah for sure um how greenhouse, was that greenhouses after that Green, too. okay yeah. so it went from 
blown out house. It went from went from the outdoor, outdoors. Well, we did. We used to do these. We call them bio bio domes. Mm-hmm. So like it would rain like crazy. Yeah. Out in the outdoor, so yeah. we put up fucking PVC and we were throwing plastic, you know, clear plastic over the top, mm-hmm. polycarbonate. Mm-hmm. Um, just to, you know, that was considered a greenhouse then. Yeah. You know what I mean? But we call them biodomes. We just lift up the ends so air could pass through. Sure. But when it would rain, it wouldn't fuck up all your outdoor. Oh, there you go. So the, and it, the weed was better, you know? Yeah, we just knew man. that greenhouses was the play because just like the the deflection of, of the intensity of light coming through that plastic yeah. made it so it wasn't so intense and it didn't make the buds like blow out like crazy. Okay. So they were tighter and frostier nice. and terpier, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, it was yeah. like shit started clicking right like, then. Oh fuck, man. Yeah. The biodomes. The biodomes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You leave plants out in this 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 sun out here is fucking. It's fucking crazy. brutal. Yeah. That's the I honestly think that's the distinction between like boutique batches, like all the small shit, you know, like the garage grown, the house grown. Yeah. It's usually smoking a little bit better, right? Yeah. Because they're fucking not intense. So yeah. like I dim my lights in my indoor. I okay. I black out my greenhouses when it when the sun's at full peak. Okay. You know, I'm not trying to like the intensity yeah. is what burns turps. Yep. Blows out the flower. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, it builds it builds yields and builds biomass, but that's not where we're trying to get shit that's we want A one. Yeah. You know, bro. we don't want Especially no fucking now, man. no boofy shit. No way. Yeah. Yeah, that's dope, so yields bro. don't matter. You just gotta. I think you gotta get that light intensity down. That's one of the main factors that I've seen in most facilities. Is that, you know, these light companies they'll stack you. They want you to buy a million lights. Oh yeah. So when I put my meters on there, it's like twelve hundred ppfd. It's outrageous. So too much light intensity grows shitty weed. Yeah. And you go into those places that it's just fucking bright. Yeah. And the buds are just massive. And their weed fucking sucks. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 no doubt. It's facts. No doubt. That's facts, bro. Yeah. I've been to plenty of those facilities. Yeah, There's I know. There's no shortage of those around here. No, I know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's dope, They're bro. They're cooking. The biodomes. The biodomes, yeah. So that uh, yeah. that uh, that sparked a light bulb, I want to say. Shout out to Tony for that because he's, he's a crazy-ass construction dude. that He could fucking build anything, you know what I mean? So when we were rocking, he would just... Oh, he he got this fucking MacGyver idea. Let's just let's just put this PVC up, and then we'll do this, like build a greenhouse. You know yeah. what I mean? That's just how like no big deal. Yeah, yeah no big deal. just throwing up, bro. Yeah, were people not really growing in greenhouses like that back then? Was it mostly just outs? Mostly just outs for sure. Yeah. Nice. Dude. Yeah, no one was really doing it. Yeah. Because they they you weren't pulling I mean, tarps yet, right? Stuff. You weren't pulling tarps, no, right? Uh-uh. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Nah. It was just it was just for protection at that no doubt that time no doubt. But after I built out some houses, ran some indoor, I got another property and and uh, built some like shitty greenhouses that actually had blackouts. Nice golden wings, if you know what that is. So that's like the if you see the blackout on the outside of a greenhouse, the two arms on the back of a greenhouse, it's like the cheap you know the cheaper ones. Yeah, these fucking things suck. They break like every day. Oh no shit. But they do the job. They'll they'll do the blackout for you. If okay. you have power or a generator, you can hook. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's yeah, just okay. like two arms that rolls, you know. it's, oh, it's know It pulls the tarp about. for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yes, yes, Yeah, yes. we call them Golden Wings. Golden that was wings. like the first company that made it, I think. Okay, okay. It's like a little gold motor on the ends of those things. Oh, no shit? Yeah. But they, we'd hook up a generator to the old shittier houses, and and it would, you know, we'd start doing the, 12 12 change in it? yeah changing the photo period sick 12 12 in it where'd you learn that back then or just common sense or no i was reading a, so when we started the outdoor uh jorge cervantes the the grow bible mm-hmm. that was one that. of the first books i read a shit ton of books i was online 24 7 like yeah, i was bro. i've been like once i got into it and started like i was always passionate about the weed even when I was selling like bammer weed, it, you'd have different kinds of bammer, the chocolate bammer, like mm-hmm. the chocolate tie, we'd yeah, call it. It bro. had like chocolate a chocolatey tie, smell. Bro. You'd have the fucking gasoline that they, you know, when they transfer it, it would be in the gas tanks and it would smell like oh, fucking fuck. gasoline. Yeah, right. Or diesel. We'd call it diesel then Damn. too. Um, but I'd just be so geeked out on it. You know what I mean? And when we started getting indoor, it was a whole other ball game. It's like, 
the purples, the bubble berries, the mm -hmm. the bright greens, yeah. what they do to you, you know what yeah. I mean? So I, I just like bled. I was so fucking passionate about it. Twenty four seven, I'd be researching how to better the plants. Yeah, you know that was my thing. No like, shit. dude, Uncle Tone would be the fucking builder. Yeah, he could do all that shit. Okay. We need we need irrigation. We need water. He could do anything. Yeah. Right. So perfect fucking match. That's perfect. Me, match. I'm nerding out. Yeah. I'm making nutrients. I'm making my concoctions. I got this whole fucking scientific thing going there on. You, you go. know. Yeah. I'm buying a bunch of dumb shit for no reason. Yeah, but yeah. Just Child learning. Hair. Yeah, learning. Yeah. That's how we all learned, I think, back then. Was, of course. Because no one actually knew what we know now is like most of the shit is all the same shit. It's just, yeah. you know, minerals, nutrients for right. the plant. Yeah, you just got to find your ratios. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Instead of having this, all this, uh, it's all marketing shit. 10 parts, you know? 15 parts. It's all marketing. Fucking, yeah, yeah bro. They'll take parts out of things so you so you got to buy them separately and yeah, then they'll put a sticker go. on there and charge you like, yep. I mean, 200X, <clears throat> no joke. All that yeah. shit is like, fucking marked up like crazy so we, yeah, we were getting bro. burned forever luckily i dug deep into that and figured out how to make my own nutrients and do you make you your know, own a lot of that stuff yeah nice. blend was, salts and everything about to yeah. Ask you. yeah most of those liquids are salts anyways you know people be like are against salts but it's most of it's all salts no you know? shit bro <laughs> yeah. damn yeah, yeah. they just mix it with water food coloring and it's all the same shit pretty yeah, much yeah, other than it. organics of course for sure but that's a whole other discussion yeah yeah for sure man yeah. That's that's fucking dope, man. Any um, you know, in that time between you know growing outdoor, having the houses, anything, anything notably fucking crazy happened on your journey? So much. Had oh to get God. had to get the fuck out of Dodge. <laughs> Hell of times. Um, yeah, been through all that. Yeah. Um, starting in the outdoor, we'd have notes on the gate. You know, we're gonna we need to come mm -hmm. check your plants. All this, blah blah Plant blah. Count. Luckily out there. Um, it was a trip because this was, I mean, I'd say 2006 or so, they started coming and counting, okay. you know, and for the cops to come at that point deep and to count your plants was the craziest fucking thing. It was just like, that's what opened my mind though, is like, all right, because they would come and they would be just as intrigued as we were. Looking no at shit. you know, damn, this one's frosty. This one's purple. Are you serious? I swear to God, and the, some guys would be dicks, but others would be like, they just make stupid jokes, you know? Yeah, it's just a plant. It's at the end plant, of the day, man. take yeah. it easy. Yeah, but uh, yeah, been through a lot of shit, raids, lost everything multiple times. I mean, so much crazy shit has happened throughout the the years. Had to bring packs down on a regular basis which is a big problem up there because every it was like a little humble yeah everyone would be growing out there okay in yeah. yolo in uh yuba in yuba or yeah. yuba that's how i meant yuba. yeah no it was literally like because they allowed it you could do 99 plants oh they're the 99 and plants. the guys gotcha. that could do big ass plants were throwing some weight down yeah fucking 99 plants is goddamn forest so bro. it's the problem when you when you harvest is it says you can do 99 plants but you can only have 16 pounds or something at the most right so <laughs> that's two plants right you know what I mean? right right uh Damn, so we'd always bro. be sketch in the, during the dry phase and then where's the weed go especially when they already came you know a month before or whatever yeah. a month before harvest they already came they knew what we had mm -hmm. they knew we had hundreds of pounds for sure oh yeah they seen you know big uh dry rooms and I mean, we were ready you know what I mean? Oh, they, yeah. they knew, they knew what time we were getting was. down. Yeah, we had yeah. turkey bags. We had totes. Oh, yeah. You know, we had everything. I see no 16-pounder. I see more than 16 totes in here. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn, so, bro. That's wild. That shit was stressful as fuck, you know, at I the time. It, man. But it's what we wanted to do. Yeah, man. I mean, you paved the way, bro. You paved the way for a lot of cats today, man. You were, you were truly one of the pioneers of this shit out here, bro. It's Thanks, fucking, bro. It's fucking dope, man. Yeah, there's a lot of us. There's a, there's a ton of us. Yeah, that we're especially getting in down. this area. Everybody's in this area. This area is yeah. fucking powerhouse of cannabis yeah. legends, bro. Yeah, everybody's in this area. The producers that come out of this area is just fucking nuts, dude. And, and well, all they, the hills are around us, you know what I mean? And they, Exactly. And and the rest of them aren't too far from us. Not too far. You know what I'm no. saying? The hill starts right in fucking shit. You call it 
what Grass Valley? Yeah, you know for what I'm sure. Saying? That's the closest. That's the closest. El Dorado, right? Grass Valley, El Dorado, Grass Valley. Yeah, uh, Yuba. Yup. Yep. I mean, Humboldt ain't far, you know what Humboldt's I mean? Really Mendo, far, nah, it's not that bad. What you got there, bud? Uh, some sure banger, 22. Ooh, let's go. Yeah. Let's go, let me see. Yes, sir. Oh, that's fucking dope. I got a bunch for you, hella flavors. Okay. Open all these boxes, you'll find yeah, these something different. boxes are fucking player. <laughs> Dude, we got weed in here, folks. First how many? Huh? First how many units? Uh, first, first 10,000. First 10,000. Yeah. Or it's a lot. <laughs> that was the minimum minimum order. Minimum you know what order, I mean. Yeah, you know how that goes. Uh, I I do it very well. Yeah, very well. I just put in an order today. It was. A, I was I'm taking the minimum. God damn it. Yes. Because I got to sure. get five different fucking things. Sir. The minimum hurts though because you get taxed on the hurt. minimum. Yeah, you get taxed man. the most on the minimum. It feels good when you can when you can increase past the minimum to the next level. You know what I mean. Yeah. Which is it's yeah. it's happened to me yeah. <laughs> finally. No doubt. no doubt. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. So, um, when did, uh, so what was preferred born? Are we, are we getting close to when you're like, you know what, I'm going to start a business? No, nah, that was later. Oh, um, right, so keep I going, mean, keep going. 2000, 2015 is when, when preferred was actually born. Okay. That was, uh, so I was doing all the houses and I was doing the green, you know, I started doing the little gr shitty greenhouses and okay. I was moving on to warehouses and that's where I was getting a little sketch. Yeah. Because, you know, now you're talking 100 lights in a building where there's businesses around you. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? Not 100, but 40 or something. Yeah, where yeah it started. sure. Um, so I went to an attorney and, you know, that specialized in it. And I got my nonprofit mutual benefit corporation. That's nice. what you had to do. Collective? It was a collective, yeah. yeah. And I learned that from dealing with all the dispensaries. Sure. Shout out to them because now is the only reason why I sell – now, I'm in all these stores is I made relationships from the very beginning because oh, no all these man. guys were coming up at the same time and these stores oh, were opening shit. and they were buying my weed. Okay. And they're still buying my weed. Yeah, you know what I mean? The rec right, market, Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> the ones that are still around, but, yeah. um, so yeah, I did That's the, cool. the mutual, uh, nonprofit. That was the collective. And okay. you know, it was like a turnkey gave you like rights to do a delivery service and whatever yep. else. Eight pounds per patient. Yeah, it was like eight pounds per patient unless they had yeah. the big script, which would get that, would give them 16, and then you could yep. grow 99 plants for some of these people. Yep. Especially if they had like a real illness, you know? Yeah. Um, but he wanted me, to, he told me, you need to come up with a name for the, for the nonprofit. Okay. And he said, you need to come up with something that sounds like a regular business not not like uh some weed shit you know what i mean so yeah, I preferred exactly gardens is what it, it was hard to come up with a name there's so many fucking names that were taken up bro thank you something that so hard. <laughs> yeah i hated the name preferred gardens but preferred gardens was a landscaping company so i did i, is that right? I did yeah i made a the business another business license for a landscaping company okay and got a bank account the next day preferred gardens oh no shit yeah that's what oh, preferred wow. gardens is. Oh wow, bro! Let me <laughs> and I never out. wanted to use it as a brand, but it it God just damn, happened. It stuck. You know what I mean? It happened and it stuck. And I I tried to back out a couple of times because I never really liked the name. It's like hell long preferred garden. It's like so try to type it out. No one could spell it right. I, you know? I can't spell preferred for shit. No, bro. nobody can. Now I so can. it's perfect for all the all the uh, the fake accounts and the trappers because they'll yeah. spell it wrong. Yeah, no and they're doubt. the ones who are getting it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, get it. No these, these fools are crushing it on IG. Yeah, yeah. No <laughs> and doubt. Telegram. Oh, man. Shout out to the scam pages. Fuck Shout out to the scam pages. Respectfully yeah. and disrespectfully. Oh, uh, yeah. Some of these guys are good. Man. But so that's, you know you that's like how that. it was born, though. Yeah. Okay. In 15. Okay. And then started doing shirts, stickers, all the whatever no else. Doubt. It was still Prop 215, of course. Yep. Um, but it stuck. And it. It's fucking stuck. There was no turning back. You know what I mean? So I just ran it up. It, yeah, bro. you got to run it up. <laughs> yeah, damn right, man. Not everyone gets that opportunity for something to stick like that. No, and it no, worked sir. out. Yeah. No, sir. Uh, you know, it's funny. I had the same conversation with my lawyer when I moved out here and I started my delivery service. He's like, look, bro, just pick something that's weed and it's not weed at the same time. Yeah. So that's, that's kind of what it was. Yeah. Hell yeah. Daily dose deliveries. For you sure. Get your daily dose. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, that sounds familiar, actually. Yeah, it's my company. Were you out bro. here? Yeah, bro, I moved here in 2017. I was on Weed Maps. You oh, probably yeah. seen on Weed Maps or something. Yeah, you probably bought yeah. some weed from me. Probably. You didn't even know. Yeah. Probably, bro. I mean, I guarantee you did. Other brokers were fucking oh, lacing yeah. up sack, yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, well, there wasn't what, a ton of weed either, you know what I mean? You could get your weed really wherever. Yeah. There wasn't like, you didn't have to exchange COAs and shit. Like, you just get weed oh, thrown yeah, on the menu. Of course. Roll yeah. it up on a scale. Yeah, yeah. Put on a scale, put it in, put in a jar, bag, yeah. fucking holla, holla yeah, your boy. Yeah, the storefronts were dope. I mean, you oh, dude, it was so fucking cool. deli style. You know? Deli style was the best, bro. Yeah. But the delivery service was pull up and show you weed, too. Yep. You know? They yep. Show you some, show you their jars or whatever it was. Hell yeah, bro. Shout out to my homie King Life, man. He used to pull up on me with the fucking big fucking jars, bro. Like five big ass jars, yeah. scale, and a fucking... Uh, a 7 Eleven cup. You know oh, yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, what what you times. need, player? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where you up by your car? Yeah. yeah, bro. Good to go, mm -hmm. man. Good to go, man. Hell yeah. That's fucking fire. So then, boom. Preferred's born. Prop 215 era. Where are you guys growing at this point? Do you have the green? Do you have those fucking crazy mixed light greenhouses? No, that was or? that was houses still. And then I just started oh, creeping no it. Yeah. I mean, I had, um, I had like some cheap hoops in, okay. on our property. A little bit after that, um, I think it was 16 when I started doing the nice little bit nicer greenhouses, yeah. you know, built them ourselves. It was cool. like they weren't all that, but they did the job, you know, yeah. they still grew fire. I'm sure they were fine. We threw some gravel down and we're just, oh, you there know, you go? yeah, pots on gravel, bigger pots. Pots on gravel, okay. Yeah. What size yeah. pots are you guys rocking? Uh, those were like 30s, 30 30s, 30 gallons. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that would go respectable. Yeah, it was plant. stacked. I mean, oh, I got yeah. I got pictures of it. It was those things crushed actually. Sick. To be honest, uh, good a different county, a good county for the for that okay. good uh good little area to grow. Where was that? Uh, like, local. Local. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll yeah. just call it local. I got hit over there, so yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Who we'll knows? Call it local. <laughs> if you know, you know. Yeah, local. A little bit closer. Local. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. That's wild, bro. But yeah, greenhouses. Um. I mean, as you know, that's kind of like my thing at oh, this point. You know, I'm known know for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. we know. Because I, I did the same thing that I did with the outdoors. I dug into greenhouses and really just tried to figure out how and why, how do you grow the best weed in them, yeah. and what is it about? It's really about yeah. the climate. Well, how do you get the climate right when you're dealing with the outside variables all the time, you know? Yeah. So I just nerd out on it for so long. I am still do it to this day yeah. because – there's different equipment and you know things change on a regular basis but yeah that's uh that's the bread and butter right there is is the greenhouses i did indoor forever it's just indoors like i just think it's i mean it's not easy to grow like the best weed in the world right but it's you can make it so much more automated and it can be it's easy to produce weed in an indoor for sure that's yeah. good that looks good smells good yeah. You know, obviously getting it to like what we want for it to be smoking yeah. perfectly isn't isn't a simple challenge for any kind of growing. But it's definitely easier than doing fucking greenhouses. Greenhouses yeah, are a sure. bitch. There's a reason why not many people do greenhouses. You know, why um why greenhouse versus indoor? And I know the answer. I just want them to say I read your article on High Times Fire, by the way. Yeah, great article. Congratulations. I mean, it it just worked for me. Yeah, to be honest. I, my goal was to grow the same weed or better. And it's, it, it's more of a challenge. You know what I mean? It's, it's much more of a challenge than, like I said, than the indoor to get that. And it's always a challenge. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes you can get into a facility so fucking dialed that it's really is there and you're producing fire like nonstop. Oh yeah. Greenhouse. If you back off for a second, you're going to start taking an L. Mm -hmm. And it'll and if it's big enough, it'll circle around the entire greenhouse oh, for fuck. a year, two years. Oh you know God, what I mean? Bro. Yeah, yeah. You have issues in there. It's so it's different. It's like uh, it's a living, breathing thing compared to you know all the mechanical equipment. I mean, it has equipment no too, but it's it's just different. Yeah. But yeah, that's how I found out about you originally. I remember, um, you know, not long after I moved here, you were doing some work with Sherbinsky, I think. Yeah, yeah. And uh, doing a big... Um, Fino hunt. Massive Fino yeah, hunt. Yeah, yeah. And I was really following his story and like... Of course. Just Shabinsky's like big, a legend. Just like the big name. Yeah, shout out to Shabinsky, man. Love to have you on the show. Yeah, Mario's a beast. Um, Yeah, just following all the big guys that I that I heard of when I was out east. So, you know, you got Burner, Shabinsky, Ja, or Jigga, you yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, 
all the celebs. And whoever was kind of rolling with them, like all the weed celebs, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. And uh, just nerding out at my desk, working my whack-ass corporate job, just like, man, I got to get to California. <laughs> I got to get to California, dog. I can't do this shit no more, dog. Oh, my for God. For sure. And, um, and I came across you and, like, what you work you were doing. I was like, I'm thinking to myself, God damn, that's fucking massive operation over there, man. <laughs> shit. And, yeah, it's uh, not that big, but it, you know. It looks big. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah. To a guy from the East Coast seeing all course. this kind of yeah. for the first time no, kind yeah. of entering into your world oh, yeah. it was fucking massive to yeah me. still to this day people pop up and see it like holy shit yeah you know? yeah seeing it in person is a different ball game too no doubt <laughs> no doubt um and just to just i remember like how many strains you guys were hunting and just had in the you know i read your bio and i was just like bro 260 strains hunted from seed jesus yeah. christmas uh, yeah you just Wowzers. don't stop and they keep no, coming you yeah. know so I, I could produce 10 strains now they might not be the one they will probably get chopped and killed but yeah. you know i pheno hunt a 100 beans of each flavor i'm gonna mm -hmm. find something that i'm gonna some. rerun at least i, I probably won't choose yeah. it because i run thousands of seeds yeah you know and i just always? kill shit always yeah no shit always i'm pheno hunting like that? non-stop that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, you can cram one bench. I always do my left bench in the greenhouse. Okay. So if you walk into any of my greenhouses, the whole left bench is going to be seeds, pheno hunt, or a rerun of a pheno hunt that I okay. chose something. That whole bench. Okay. You know? Cool. So it's part that's of like 100 plants in each house. It's my system no matter what. No yeah. Oh, shit. It's oh, an L, but it. to me, it's not an L. It's what I fucking am passionate about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But if that's to like an investor or a of course. whatever, they're like, hell no. That's real estate. That's money right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the Fino sell too. People want them. Yeah, right, you know? bro. Yeah. Small batch. Small batches. Small yeah. batch. Yo, exclusive small batch drop. 100%. I mean, bro, if you're producing something that literally nobody has, the world hasn't seen, that's value, bro. Big time, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the Chads don't understand that. They shit. don't understand. Most people, it's very hard for them to understand, period. Yeah. You know? Most people. Especially yeah. when you're in the nitty-gritty. and I mean, shit's it's hard to survive in the game, it is, too. It is, so it's bro. a problem. It can become an issue. you got to be careful. Because I, I get a little great. outrageous sometimes with it. <laughs> just popping shit. Yeah. And, you know, trying to do side breeding. And then I want to throw in, like, another 100 seeds. Yeah. I'll do the whole place if, you know, and if I can, Damn, you know. It's like, savage, but it won't bro. work. No, no one will no, be no. able to, yeah, no Can't one will be that. employed. Can't do that. Yeah. So who, which one of your partners or colleagues or employees is the one to be like, yo, Dave, chill, bro. Chill out. This is way My too wife. much. My wife. Shout out to wifey. <laughs> it's always wife that keeps us grounded, right? For sure. Nice, yeah. man. Yeah. Nice. Uh, no one tells me to chill. That's if that happens, Wifey's then we got a problem. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're on the wrong team, pal. Yeah, I, my shit's working. Okay, so don't fuck with me. Yeah, bro. you're lucky to be on this team right now. Yeah. So yeah, don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it yeah. up. Right, right. Stay out of my way now. Yeah. Stay in your lane. Yeah, that's no, cool, man. But I check. I'll check myself every once in a while. That's yeah, good. that's good. Yeah, my guys will. It gets a little outrageous. You know what yeah. I mean? Even just keeping backing like 200 strains is not easy. Yeah, man. That's you're always constantly so cutting them and you're replanting them. And mm -hmm. so you, you got to condense it at all times. Yeah. So you can make it a really small space, 200 strains, when you take clone, when they're just in clone form, basically, or yeah. little, little tiny pots. But then when you want to start producing it again, you got to bring it up to a big mom yeah. to where you can get enough cuts off of it and then mm -hmm. start running, which takes time. Yeah. So you got to always be constantly digging into the schedule, you know, trying to figure yeah. out what's the next play, what do we want to run. I just say fuck it, we run whatever we think is fire, and that's it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's it, bro. Yeah, that's it, man. And yeah. you have to know what's a cure. I mean, you, and I you, grow for the homies, so they give me like shirt banger twenty two. We got permanent go. marker. We got fucking nice. all the shit that people want right now, yeah. anyways. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? So yeah, it's, you're, that's always there, and that's always you know, fetching a solid ticket. So it's, yeah. it's, it's it works. You know that shirt I mean? banger's nice, bro. I oh. love the shirt banger. Yeah, me too. Me too. I got yeah. Kajic shout out White Netflix. Ashes. He got me that actually. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah, yeah shout the homie out Joe's Ashes. a beast. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, I Hell love yeah, that dude. Bro. We've been rocking for years too. Yep, yep. yep. So I know. I yep. definitely know that for sure. Yep. Yeah, me and uh me and the homie went a half saw so one of those cuts, got it over to Cadre. Yeah, hell yeah. And uh at the you know, shout out to NorCal too. Yeah, Legendary shout out training. NorCal for sure. Shout out Boston Seaco too. Boston, the other yep. Breeder. Yep. Yep. And uh yeah, we got them running it. Well, how many days did yours go? So I'll tell you this, everyone's think I'm full of shit. I'm Talk to me. I can finish it in sixty three days. 
It's nice. like a 70 plus day. Or yes, that's from, uh, I ran sold. it three times and it was okay. not it. It was not finished. It was pre me. Okay. But to get it into a proper rotation, we run 63 days. Most facilities okay. that need to be profitable have to run 63 days. So if you dry that fucker down heavily that week six, start of week six, mm-hmm. it'll actually finish by 63 days. Oh, no shit. Yeah. So this is all 63 day. Nice. Yeah. So Perked the, out, it's done. I, I noticed know? that, and that's why I asked. Yeah, Turbs is a fresh batch. First time Cadre ran it, they, they was in a fifty-two or fifty-two day room. Yeah, and that, and it didn't it didn't color up. It didn't it, like no it way. Was, it yeah, was yeah. Good. It smoked hella good. It was just smells fucking great. It's got that great. blueberry. Yeah, especially it was early. A little. It was missing a little bit of the blueberry. It's premium for more, sure. Yeah, it's premium. Yeah, at that point. But it's in the room now. That's going sixty-two days. So that just gave me a, a lot of fucking faith that it's. Gonna it be is, nice. but still, people still don't think you can do it in in that little bit yeah. of time. I, I mean, I'm sure you talk to NorCal. He's gonna be like, run that fucker oh, seventy-five. All day. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, bro, I'm in commercial facilities, dude. I can't. It is not, what it is. They don't listen to me. It is bro. what it is, got, though. You know what I mean? There's a ton of other yeah. flavors in there coming sure. down. And the more I learn about, you know, commercial growing and schedules and, like, you know, you got to flip those rooms, bro. Have to. You got to flip those fucking Taxes rooms. are just fucked. Tens you know what I mean? Shit. Yeah. Every, taxes are everything. fucked. Cost of everything is yeah. outrageous. Like, it's, it's fucking tough. So it's tough, man. You can't, you can't, you know, miss. Yeah. You can never miss. No. Especially in a smaller facility. Like, my indoor facility is pretty small. Yeah. So I can't miss over there. Fuck no, or dude. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're it's in problem. trouble, man. Yeah. And you just came off of a, an L when your power went out, man. Yeah, always. I mean, you, that shit yeah, happens look, all the, whole, the time. All the, the whole city of Sacramento. At least the ones that knew you were we were hurting that day, man. We heard the news, bro. Yeah, it's all good. Ugh. That's just another day. It, it hate, I hate seeing that's a the good shit guy. I show is Yeah, that's just what you show. It's just right? another day. Like yeah. every day there's always some fucked up shit that happens in a facility. Yeah. Period. It's like yeah. every single day. Right now I got PTA I'm like, I'm nervous. We're sitting down, I can't look at my sensors yeah. and shit. So Yeah. Luckily I got my eye, my guys with the eyes no on. Doubt. But, no but doubt. I have a compressor. I have two compressors down right now in my HVAC system. Oh, fuck, man. And guys are working on They're installing it right now. Normally, I would be, be babysitting them, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, I got I got my right hand over there Good. making sure that uh, the room doesn't get out of control. Cause Good. We can't shut it down either during that unless it's a an emergency situation. So yeah. I got one compressor running for 70 lights right now, which ain't shit. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, get that fixed, buddy. Uh Uh-huh. Nice. What's up, guys? Just want to take a quick second to shout out my sponsors over at Grove Bags. Listen, Grove Bags are hands down the best way to store your cannabis. Forget jars. Forget mylars. Nobody does it like Grove Bags. Listen, it's a six-layer, non-static bag. State-of-the-art technology. It's going to keep your weed fresher for longer. It keeps your cannabis between 58 and 62% humidity at all times. The optimal humidity to store cannabis. It's going to increase your shelf life, help prevent mold, weight reduction. Hands down, it's the best product out there. We don't use anything but Grove Bags at Good Pizza. And especially if your product is in stores, we all know there's some shelf life issues at the stores. This is going to keep your product lasting longer on those shelves. So when your customer goes to try it, it's going to be fresh cannabis. Listen, if you want to store your cannabis the proper way, use Grove Bags. Use promo code PIZZA with three Z's. That's P-I-Z-Z-Z-A. Tell them Good Pizza sent you. Yeah, bro, that's fucking wild, man. You guys live a crazy life. It's crazy uh, life. It gets extreme, hell yeah. But I wouldn't have it any other way. You know, you really got to be passionate in this and really love this and be a little bit of crazy, too, to, to, to go at this thing because, man, we, we bust our humps. I mean, I don't care what part of the business you're in, like, it's really not that much money, especially when you're like you're not backed by anybody. You're self-funded. Um, yeah, but that's why you got to get a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger exactly. because no matter what, you're doing the same amount of work. Yeah, you know what I've noticed is like I fucking work like twenty four seven. Everyone knows me as like a, I'm a machine with that shit. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. like I don't get to sit down much. For sure. And it's always been that way. Even when I had a fucking a couple baby grows, the outdoor was cool. Cause I'd have a break. We'd go wakeboarding or yep. surfing or whatever for like a month or two. Yeah, like bro. Snowboard or whatnot, but uh, we don't get to do that anymore. Yeah, after October, man. Yeah. Get those bags sold. Like, November. Uh, yeah. We out. <laughs> we out. Yep. Exactly. Yep. yep. The life of an outdoor grower. Yeah, I've learned the lifestyle um, 
of all my outdoor grower homies. Like I, I've, that I've was seen dope back then, but that was cool. Prop 215. Now you do an outdoor. Yeah. You're doing metric all year. You're fucking doing paperwork. All, there's Bro. so much other bullshit. That's involved in this sucks, in this man. legal game. It's just crazy. Yeah, it sucks, bro. It's crazy. That's why I mean, I I still tell people like, if you can hold off, hold once off. You, once you put your name on a license, that's it. You can't fuck around anymore. You know what yeah. I mean? So if you if you can, you might want to hold off. Yeah, I hear you, man. And, and, and even as a brand, I can relate to that because it's like, okay, what am I gonna take a break? All these cult, like, you know, my cultivator partners, they're gonna sell my genetics. People are gonna sell my. Yeah, yeah. Weeds gotta go somewhere. And then nah, you already, you already. I'm in. in. There's no, there's no I'm backing off. In. Yeah, so I'm just juggling. I'm just like, yeah, chasing the money back, putting it back yeah. in, chasing, not really. Making Respect nothing. to you like, for being able to do this stuff, though. You know what I mean? We tried thanks, to do bro. a podcast. It was tough. It's, it's a lot. Yeah, of, it's it is. a whole another. Oh my god, like it's a whole bro. another thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah shout it's a whole another business. Shout out to the rotation show, man. Yeah, for sure. You know what? And I told Alex this when he was on the show. You guys, um, you guys were probably the last show that just inspired me to just fucking just finally pull the trigger because I always want to do a podcast. Yeah, it was always like an idea of mine. I was like, I oh, know, I think I can make a pretty cool show. I'm a, I'm You're a fan crushing of podcasts. I love this podcast. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that, yeah. man. And I just started whipping up a bunch of notes on my phone, like, yeah, this is what's gonna be. This is what I'm gonna ask. And it was just high thoughts. Yeah. And then you know what I mean. I watched the first smoke kick off, and then I watched you guys kick off, and you guys were local, and it was like felt like more close to home, like I could touch you guys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yo, fuck that. I got, I'm doing this shit, bro. I'm doing, yeah. Let's run it. Let's find a studio. Let's get this shit cracking. Hell yeah. You know, I had somebody interview me. That shit was. You know, I met my shooter, Ruben. Yeah. You know, we did some weird ass interview at the outside <laughs> of a pizzeria somewhere. And Hell we didn't yeah. even drop the episode. I had my homie Vanessa interview me. Like, pretty much my format of the podcast, I had her do to me. To yeah. see what that was yeah. like. Literally, like, minutes after I got a call from the homie that we had a money fucking, little money situation get jammed up somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Oh, between, I know what you're saying. Yeah, here and there, you know what I mean? And I was 100%. just, this is yeah. on my brain, and I'm just like, hell of that shit on my mind, and trying to do this fucking podcast, and then... Yeah, found a studio, got a crack man. But yo, shout out to you guys, man, because you guys really inspired me to, to just oh, hop That's off dope. the bench and really just get this thing going, man. I'm glad you did because it's yeah. it's popping. Thank you, bro. Thank yeah, you, man. It's popping. Yeah, I missed the I it. missed the first couple of times we were booked out for a minute. Oh yeah, yeah. This it's is like a long I got time COVID. Coming, man. Uh, yeah, yes. a bunch of shit. Yeah. Happened. Oh, life happens, bro. Yeah. I'm I'm, I'm probably sorry. one of the most I, understanding people you'll ever. Yeah, know, but right? I I that that was you know. I'm sure you that felt shit, bad. Yeah, that shit you're a good guy. sucks. Yeah, but uh, no, nah, I I didn't feel any kind of. Because I appreciate bro. you, you know, having me on regardless. Oh, absolutely, so. bro. Absolutely, man. You're... Especially now that I didn't make it the first time. Bro. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm not like fuck this guy, man. Yeah, he's fuck him. He thinks he's show. too cool. Yeah. Fucking guy, think he is. <laughs> Cancel it on me. Yeah. You don't walk out on me. I walk out on you. No, thanks. <laughs> no, that, that's uh, no, it's all good, bro. Look. Like, I got kids. You got kids. We both run businesses. You, I, I, bro, I, I've been a fan of the journey, bro. I see what you do, man, and I, I know that's yeah, only what lit. you show. You feel yeah, me? So for it's sure. like, this is I a already lot. know, bro. It's a lot. I knew it would happen when it would happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. And fortunately, you know, a lot of shit has happened since then that we could talk about now and promote for you sure. now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I see the I see the progression. You feel you me? Know? So you, yeah, you, you could have been at the trap spot. Uh, I could have. Yeah, you was at the fucking. You, <laughs> you nice, might have deleted you my the right episode shit, then. You know yeah, yeah, man, it's all good, bro. It's all good, man. <laughs> So yeah, let's talk about the preferred, the preferred team, the gang, the fucking oh, the squad, gang. bro. Yeah. Like I fucking yeah, man, you got some let's players kick that on that team, so, man. Uh, who, who we got, man? Give us some Alex, run, Shout fucking to Alex. amazing human being. He you is, know bro. Alex, he's the homie. Fucking awesome. His family's awesome. Yeah, dude. Uh, we're partners in Fiore. He's a fucking nice. great person. Hell yeah. And he's a he's a talent. He is like tech tech that dude. Oh yeah. <laughs> Like oh, he's he the shit. Up. Yeah, he's yeah. he's the man. He's very smart. Yeah, um, definitely. And he adds tons of value. All this design and stuff is Alex. Oh no yeah, shit! Yeah, he That's does all clean, that stuff. Hell yeah, yeah nice dude. fire. Yeah. Hell so yeah. my boy Kevin did the logo. Okay. Um, and Alex just puts together all these, you know, all the packaging and everything. Nice, so dude. And you could tell it's all on point. So clean. It's exactly bro. what I wanted. You know. Dude, when I think of clean logos, this is kind of what like, I go for. Cause I'm a graffiti artist. I go way the fuck out of bounds with, with uh, yeah. drawings, bro. Yeah. And, and like this is just like you got to just dial it back in. Yeah, it's a brand. I mean, it's something that you can recognize was the goal. That's important. Something that you can really recognize. Yeah. It doesn't have to be that special. Not the yeah. flash, I don't give Less a shit more, about. Bro. I care about what's in the bag regardless. This yeah. is like 
too <clears throat> much for me. Like the box and the bag and shit. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, no, I just want, this is what I like. The Florida, where's the Florida the bag? The right here. The Florida bag. Fucking plain. Plain Jane. Fur gardens. That's <laughs> you it. know what I mean? That's it. If I could put the P on there, it would be better. Bro, this but works yeah. so good for you guys. So the red bag is is fire. It's been the staple in Cali, oh, yeah. you know, is the red oh, bag. Absolutely. Just the P. Looks just like P, this, bro. but not that's too it. much flash. That's it, man. Um, but Alex gets it. He understands. That's that's a harder thing to do is what I found out is design like these clean, basic things than like a whacked out fucking art piece, you know? It is, dude. Yeah. It really From what is. I hear, at least, but I don't know. No, That's not is. my wheelhouse, so the, that's where we got Alex. Um, and then Mike. Mike runs Fiori, manages Fiori. Mike's a fucking vibe. Like that Mike. dude, like Mike, I love Mike, bro. <laughs> like Mike, man. but I'm pissed right now because he's in Guam and I don't have any like Mikes with me. Oh, but shit, uh, he man. left. Yeah, he left me hanging. Damn, uh, bro. So yeah, but Mike, Mike's the shit. So like all of our events, everything that dude runs it up. People love oh, yeah. Mike. He's a vibe, bro. He's got a great personality. Amazing, good, good spirit. Yeah, um, amazing. It's a really nice guy all together, like stand up dude, bro. A hundred percent. And he yeah. skateboards too. We just skated the other day. Oh, you did? Yeah, we're yeah. fucking it up, bro. He's nice too. He's yeah. nice on the board too. Nah, he's he's uh he's good at everything. Yeah, Mike's, Mike's the shit. I, I love Mike. Man. Yep. And then um, who else we got? We got Nate Nathan JTV for all the videos and yeah, stuff. Yeah, fucking met bad him. motherfucker. Up with him. He's yeah, a bad motherfucker. he's young as shit too. He's a young, know, hungry dude. talent. Nate's Nate's a beast. Yeah. I mean, you see all the videos. They're off the yeah, chain. Yeah, fire visuals. Like, everyone bro. tries to get Nate, you know? Nate's fire the shit. Fire-ass visuals, yeah. bro. I fuck so uh, And then Phil, basically, like, uh, we just we just brought Phil on. He's he's on the gang now. He's he's nice, Phil's the shit. Phil. Phil does all the photography. Nice. Um, now he's working on packaging. We're dropping vapes. He built, he designed all this crazy-ass vape for me. No shit, man. He's, he's a beast. Phil Emerson. Uh, so Emerson, yeah, yeah, he's worked for a lot of brands. He's he's famous. He's a famous designer, in my opinion. He's the best in the game, no and shit, uh, we're lucky to have him for sure. Oh, that's fire, bro. Yeah. Um, who else we got? I don't want to forget about anybody. We got Blaine Lemonade Blaine. I don't know if you know him. I do know him. I follow. We follow each other on Instagram. Yeah. He's yeah. Cool yeah. Leaders. Yeah. He's solid, sick homie. He fucking connoisseur to the T. Oh, Great yeah. personality. Uh, just dope ass person all the way around. He's, I, I don't know. I hope I'm not overstepping by saying he's on the gang yet, but I, I think he is. He's, he's okay. with us. Yeah. Okay. Good shit. Yeah. Um, and then <clears throat> we got Uncle Tony. I mean, you heard a little bit of stories about Uncle Tony. Uncle that's Tone. that's my brother. Nice, he's bro. he's definitely my best friend, and uh, he's just a fucking solid ass dude. He he'd do anything for me, and I'd yeah. do anything for him. He's just you know. Yeah. It's just that you got just that, that one guy. person that's yeah. fucking the one. Sometimes you just need one of those in life, man. Oh yeah, for you sure. Know? You're blessed then, if you have more. But. 100%. And then uh wifey. I was waiting for that one. She's the fucking champion. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. Definitely. We have like something very special and that's kind of what what clicked and created like a group, I think. Yeah. Um she does everything for me. I mean everything. All my licensing pays all the bills. Wow. Takes care of my kids, which are their fucking sure. rough house and all day. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? It's a hard job as it is. How old are the kids? Uh, eight and twelve. Two boys. God bless her. Yeah, I, both I know. Now. Yeah, <laughs> she puts it down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but she is the brand, in my opinion. Wow. Like without her, there would have been no chance for me. Like I'm wow, just in bro. the garden. You know what I mean? Sure. And. I can't do all this extra shit. I, there's no way I could be legal without her. Yeah. Um, she's, she's fucking awesome. So I do whatever I man. can for her. And we, we click up, we do all the events together and everything. Nice. So nice, like, man. we found a way to balance like our relationship with that because I have no time. Yeah. It is what it is. Like I'm, I'm running hella businesses in multiple States and right. I have zero time. So I I tag her you, along, man. you know? Oh, you just bring her with. Oh yeah. Yeah. For okay. Sure. I was gonna ask you what's the what's the formula, bro? Because like as a mover and shaker entrepreneur, like that's it's a struggle in our household too. It's like balancing the family time, the wifey time, yeah, the business. How do you? Do I mean, it? it's it's hard. I don't have the answer for you. No but answer. what I do have, which has been the greatest thing ever, yeah, and it worked out because she's just perfect for like I'm not a personality like that. I'm not. I've been in with plants in the hills for years. Like I don't. Yeah. 
I was trying to get away from people. You know what I mean? So the yeah. events is not my thing, to be honest. Got you. She's good at that stuff. Like her personality is like Mike. Yeah, you know? yeah. Bubbly, but a female, outgoing, yeah. Female. So we yeah. do the events together, and it's it's love. So I get to hang out with her, and we get to work. That's cool. So we go man. to Florida. We run it up tough. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bring the squad. Bring her. Yeah. And we're bro. kicking it. Yeah. So that's I, I see the videos. That's the balance. That's, that's the cool. only balance that we have. We. We rarely get to go, you know, date night and all that stuff, but we yeah. we do it when we can. Yeah, yeah. I seen you guys uh, cleaned up pretty well. You guys at a Vegas uh, wedding or some shit. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. I that was the first yeah, time I got, seen uh, you and the wife together. You yeah, guys all dressed up, fucking nice black For sure, suits. Yeah, that's my style. We, we try to do everything we can that's together. That's cool, yeah. man. That's, That's a cool. rarity to drag me out, but yeah, <laughs> bro, I seen you and Ted in suits in the I know. same night. I was like, holy <laughs> fuck, bro, where, what is For happening sure. right now? I know it's a trip. It's great, man. Yeah, it's like an industry wedding from the That's homies. Cool. Yeah. That's cool, man. Um, Chris, yeah, I'm always Chris and Caitlin, shout out to them for inviting us. Nice, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. Salute. Yeah, I'm. I'm always curious, bro, I, and I always ask selfishly for myself and for my guests. But like when I see a power couple both entrepreneurs running a powerhouse business like you, I'm always curious on, you know, what do you guys do? Because I know every relationship's different. You know, everybody's got their own formula to keep shit together. You know, um, shout out to my way. We just hit 20 years anniversary yesterday. Amazing, congrats. Uh, thank you, bro. And, uh, you know, we have our own system. And, you know, so I'm always curious. I'm always trying to figure out what's the yeah, key that's, codes uh, for me. I mean, we've... How long have you been together? We've been together forever. It's we've, great, we've been together for a long time. I work... We've been married for nine years, but we were together nice for too. like at least 16. I don't want to mess Beautiful. this up, but yeah, for a long time. Nice, um, bro. Where'd you guys meet? How'd you meet? We actually met at a bar. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, you can find love at cool. bars, You folks. can find love at bars, <laughs> yeah. Uh, she she was hollering at me. She, she bought hollered? me a drink. She hollered, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. Let me find out she, she took you, She player. took me out to, uh, to breakfast, late night breakfast. Yeah. Nice, bro. Yeah. Um, but we, we clicked it off. That was that. Yeah. Beautiful. We were together for fucking ever, you know, that's cool. Man. We're, we're solid together. I mean, that's we've good. been through our ups and downs, of course. of course, we've came a long ass way. Yeah. Long ass way. Of course, bro. Yeah. If you've been with somebody that long, right. So I, I feel like a season of life is about six, seven years. And you've been through, you've grown through a couple seasons of life with her personally and together. You know 100%, what I'm yeah. And that means a lot, bro. We've broken up once in the, in the, the early days, sure. you know, same took like a year break and then yeah. came back and she got pregnant and you know it was hello. on yeah hello <laughs> nice bro mm -hmm. nice that's cool man you guys got a beautiful family man salute thank you, you guys no, it's, it's great i'm sure that's what motivates i'm blessed you that's the you. biggest blessing like fuck all, all this other fuck shit's all extra shit, you know bro. what i mean it's all extras bro it's all, it's all extra family the kids 100 percent. you know all that shit man yeah that's cool man curious you what did you ever have a job uh, it works. If so, what was your first job? Bullshit construction jobs. Bullshit not, construction yeah, job? not really. Not. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of just yeah. hustling shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no doubt. Mover. I was like a mover for I did the mover thing. Three, four months. You yeah. know what I mean? That's a fucking um, job. Yeah. Oof. I've done some landscaping stuff. Yeah. I mean, young as fuck though. Sure, yeah. sure. And I've I done sucked. All that. You know, because I didn't want to do it. Yeah. I didn't have lines. Uh. -uh. No. I knew I could make money way more money doing other Come stuff on. you know? <laughs> you know your phone starts humming you're at work you're like man, my pager yeah shit, bro. Page? yeah yeah <laughs> yeah for that sure. shows you how long you've been traveling oh yeah you got Definitely. Right. Double, double pager double pager days. and then the flip Damn, phone right. came eventually you know yeah yeah um but we were cell phone and we were uh pay phone in it oh bro the pay oh bro yeah that pay phone like the Seven, amount 11 of pay phones the amount of joy that would just it was just exciting, bro. Like that that pay for ring, and it was for you, and there was some money on the other end, uh, motherfucker, yeah. bro. Yeah. God damn, bro. <laughs> and the pay phones were nasty, bro. Nasty. Oh, yeah. Gum man. stuck on the end. People spit on them and uh, shit, guaranteed. bro. Oh yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah, gum. Oh, yeah, fuck, dude, would be bro. sleeping at the bottom of it. You'd be you over. Feel me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> That's some California shit. For sure. No, it That's was lit. Buddy as hell, bro. Yeah, yeah, the payphone day. Shout out to the payphone trappers, man. Good times. Good times. Yeah, bro. that was a that was a long time ago. I can't believe it's been that time long. Ago. Yeah, man. Um, Things have changed. They have, bro. They <clears throat> definitely have. So now you're in all these different states. What states are you in? Uh so Florida, Arizona, working on Maryland right now. Nice. New Jersey, New York. Great stage Get to be cracking. in, bro. Yeah. Great stage. Next, I mean, next goal would be Texas, but that's yeah. there behind. You know? <clears throat> yeah. 
Florida is fucking phenomenal. Florida is Yo, like, they don't give a fuck so, down there, dude. So much love. It's medical. It's medical, okay. So we get so much love so, in Florida. Tell like, me a little bit about the model down there. Um, so it's vertical licensing. Okay, only? So you had, yeah, you had oh, to... Cool. You had to get a license within a certain t time frame. It was okay. a short time frame. You had to apply for it. Okay. And you also had to have owned a nursery for like 30 years. It's like a weird stipulation, right? Wow, that's so different. These guys, this guy, uh, Donovan and his family, they owned a nursery in uh, in Homestead. It's next to Miami. Okay. They owned a nursery that, that sold palm trees and, you know, whatever, all different okay. kinds of agriculture stuff. Sure. And they had the idea to put in the in for the license. They put in for the license. They During the middle of that, they found an, an investor, which is this young guy, Elad, fucking young as shit, no set, shit. dope ass dude. No so shit. Donovan and Elad clicked up. Okay. A lot invested. You know, it cost money to get this thing rolling, basically. So he was able to uh, find the money and, you know, get it going. So they got the license. Okay. And they built out, like, a small little container grow okay. to start. Sure. And uh, <clears throat> my boy put me in touch with them because they were going to expand. This is Things started popping in Florida quick. Yeah. Like, True Leave was the only big, massive corporation. They dominated all of Florida. Okay. Like, these guys were doing, like, $10 million a week or something crazy out there in, in medical cannabis. Wow. Yeah, so these two smart dudes figured it out, got the license, got the money, got a loan to do this big build-out, but needed someone, needed an uh, a consultant, basically, or needed someone with experience to, yeah. to do it. So they got a hold of me. Because my name was out there, knowing that I can build these, I was already building mine in Sacramento. So I I went out to Florida, met these guys, kicked it off, clicked it. I mean, they were just like dope ass humans. So nice, bro. that's like the thing with in cannabis now that I've learned since I've been in so long. It's all about people and relationships. It's not fuck that people have thrown crazy amounts of money at me. I'm sure, but I can tell that they're, you know, they have they just want to steal or yeah. cheat or get my intellectual property somehow. Yeah. You can just tell that they're snakes. Sniff them out. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can, I'm just really good at that. Um, so these guys, I, I just started working for them basically for free. I was just like, I'll, oh, shit, let's start man. building this thing out. We'll figure out a deal after. Okay. Um, but I want to be in Florida, you know, cause I'm working on the brand and I really want to get it popping out there. Okay. And they were like, cool, blah, blah, blah. So we worked on like a handshake. Wow. I designed the whole facility. They built out like 100,000 square feet. Super nice facility. So, so dope. Probably like the best piece of art. One of the best facilities in the in the country. Wow. Um, and they did it for cheap because Donovan was, is a farming ass fucking gangster. He's a builder. You know, he's, he's just connected out there. He, he got it done. You know, he's yeah. the guy that gets shit done. He's the Uncle Tony. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, and yeah, that's that's how our relationship started. And we were talking about consulting fees or whatever, and it went down the road. I was gonna be their head of cultivation, doing this remotely. And I decided to ask them for a licensing deal for the brand instead. I was okay. like, hey, just give me a licensing deal. Yeah, Let's work this out. This will be better for me. You guys, I'll, <clears throat> since I'm gonna be the grower anyways, I'll be growing preferred. We'll start packaging it preferred and we'll work that, you know, blah, yeah, blah, there blah. You go. And they're sense. like, cool, done, done deal. We'll do whatever you want because yeah. they're fucking good people, like I sure. said. Um, and we're still kind of on a handshake. And it went on for some time. And, uh, you know, the thing got built. And by then, I was pumping over here. Greenhouse was popping. The brand's kicking off super hard. My indoor's getting fired up. That's right. And they're like, hey. You sure you're going to be able to run this entire facility, head of cultivation, you remotely? I'm like, yeah, I'll just train people, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But, and then we came to, we had a meeting and had a conversation about it a little bit deeper. And I was like, yeah, honestly, I wouldn't want to, I, we should hire someone great and work that way, you know? So yeah. uh, I was like, I can interview them. We'll find someone, you know, really good. And they'll be out here 24 seven. It'll, yeah. it'll be great. I'll train them. I'll work remotely with them, There you, go. you know, blah, blah, blah. So. They found this guy, Brian, okay. fucking honestly could be, he's top three growers in the world, in my opinion, for scale. 
Damn. He's a fucking badass. Let's go. I Ryan. didn't know. He's he's like me, humble, chill. Yeah, yeah. We're talking. I'm sure. like, yeah, I'm going to teach you this, this, this. He's like, oh, yeah, cool. That's awesome. You know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, and I get to meet him a little bit more, and I'm like, fuck, this dude starts teaching me shit. You know oh, what no I mean? Shit, I'm like, bro. all right. He was just being Never humble, mind. Let's see what happens. And he starts giant. putting he starts putting out work, and it's fire. Oh, let's go. A1 fire. Let's go. So I'm like, how do, how do you get so lucky? You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. How is it? This doesn't happen ever. You're good people, bro. That's how. Yeah, it doesn't the happen. Universe could plug you with, with somebody that's vibrating on your frequency, brother. Thank you. you I, I believe in that too. Yeah, yeah. it was kind of manifested sure. it because it worked its way into that, and it was yeah. it was it ended up being like meant to be in that situation. Because at first I was like, nah, I'm gonna have to grow it all. There's no way it's yeah, gonna have course. to be my way because of course. I can't. I've never Big ran talk. into anyone that I felt comfortable with. Sure. You know, I mean, there's a couple guys, but they're. They above me or they're at the same yeah they're at the same level they got yeah. their own shit going on too yeah. um but yeah that worked out perfectly and we talk every day like me and him click that's so awesome, any bro. any little problems any batches that aren't it we we dump them we dump you the have guys wholesale, are so you solid outlets down there no we'll them. fucking destroy it oh fuck. that's how great the the owners are they're what? down with the plan you know what i mean Wow, so if it ain't it, it, nothing. Well, we just got BHO. There you go. So now, so now they're gonna start shit, distillating. You know, the distillate, and whatever else. So that's what's happening now. But at first, we we've dumped like a couple hundred pounds of fi- of good weed that, it, but it wasn't smoking. Oh my! You God, know what I mean? Bro. That's <laughs> and what owner would do that? Well, I was just like million dollars that. in loss. Incredible, bro. Yeah. Wow. So that's, I mean, that just proof in the pudding that I'm Dude. dealing with the right people. You got it hell of a situation it's a great there, situation i didn't know it was that juicy it's juicy that's it gets extreme juicy. like that's fucking fine and we were do that's we juicy. would do drops and it was like a sneaker drop out there no joke we I would know, literally dude. fucking sell out Around like fucking corner 50 100 pounds in package eights in like three minutes what no joke because the they got delivery set up like these guys are so smart the way that they have all their logistics no and everything shit, set up dude and we got a lot of hype. We got strains that other people have never had. We go. dropped snacks the first time. Bro, We're dropping lemon fire. tree. People love lemon tree in Florida. Like mm-hmm. it's shit that you I can't bet. you can't do it in Cali anymore. No, sir. They love those terps out yeah, there. So man. we're figuring it out. They want gas. They want you know, they want flavors. That's cool. They're fucking connoisseurs in Florida. You'd be That's cool. crazy surprised. I know some smokers down there, man. Yeah. The medical sure. market is insane though. They're That's like cool, man. they're off the So hook. there's good weed in the medical scene down there or just pretty much from your camp? Fire in our camp. Jungle Boys is out there putting out good okay. weed. Um, nice. I heard that. There's only a couple, to be only honest. A couple, yeah. Yeah. Man. There's only a couple. I haven't wow. seen it all, so I can't really vouch for anybody. But I know there is good weed out there. And you guys are in? Uh, we're in Florida, Jacksonville. Uh, so now there's five stores. Okay. Before it started with one store. There's delivery. That's the main hub. Is in Homestead, which is in Miami. So the okay. first storefront you guys in are Miami. In- so it's going to be 30 Florida. stores. It's going to be in every piece of Florida in no time. That's how we do the sneaker drops is it goes out to all of Florida. Okay, the delivery I'm system. I'm like, yo, how the fuck? No, nah, they built like this crazy website that it's no joke. Like their tech is so good. And that's where, that's where that was like on a lot side. This guy, Matty, he's a beast. He's like an Alex, you know, he's, he's uh, great with the tech. You got all the pieces to the Solid puzzle down team. there, my boy. And these people are phenomenal. You'd be like, you feel like you're at home when you go there. Southern That's hospitality cool. with them. There's I no, like, there's a ton of money being made out there, but no one has like an ego. Yeah. It's nuts. It's Listen, Florida is a good life. It's a great life. Florida is yeah. a good life. It's a different life. I'd like to live there. And if you've never, oh, I'm for sure getting a condo down there, mm-hmm. bro. I'm just going to Airbnb it while I'm not there. Let's chip in. Let's do it. I'm down, bro. <laughs> I've already been looking at some. I'm yeah. fucking down, bro. I've been dying to get a spot down there, You man. like Miami or Jacksonville? I, super know, nice. Clearwater like, was really nice. I like outskirts. Nice. I like, you know, Hollywood, Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, Boca. Hollywood's the next door. Yeah, Hollywood's dope, bro. Yeah. You ever been in that casino? I've never been in Hollywood. I've never been, yeah, it's, it's cool. Yeah. It's cool. Hell yeah. Yeah, I got my homie Blaze down there in uh, Boca. And, uh, you know, if you're from where I'm from, you always have a homie that moved to Florida. For you know sure. There's always somebody you go Everybody see. in Miami is from New York or oh, New for Jersey. Sure. Everybody. Yeah, everybody, bro. Yeah, so it makes everybody. it a little seasonal uh, in yeah. Miami is what we've noticed from the data. Yeah. It's like. Oh, for sure. For and sure. and a, half of the customers are from New York. Oh, yeah. No joke. Oh, for <laughs> sure, bro. So it's cool. The, the name's being built in New York pretty heavy right now just off of Florida's deal. Oh, no shit. Yeah. 
Oh, that's for fire, sure. bro. Yeah. That's fucking cool. That's fucking cool, man. Yeah, we got a saying, uh, gangsters don't die, they get fat and move to Miami. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, we don't have a saying. That's actually a line from Jada Kiss, but uh, yeah. that's a real thing. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yeah, for man. Sure. Get fat and go work on your tan. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely uh definitely got a piece of Southern Southern Florida's got a piece of my heart, man. You I was, fuck with the shirt doinks? Hash yeah, holes. Hash holes? Yeah, that's my boy. Oh uh, yeah, I fuck with some hash Fire. holes. Yeah. What what uh what what was you got in there, player? This is the uh the D one from Green Dog. Ooh, let's go. Yeah. With what kind Tom's of rosin? burger banger? Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> he about to he about to light us up. It's the real deal, yeah. But first, <laughs> we're gonna take a quick break. Yes, sir. What's up, familia? Yo, check this out. I gotta take a second to shout out my sponsor, the Gotti brand. Thank you so much for the sponsorship. Here's where you can find the fire in California. The Gotti brand can be purchased at Cookies, Cookies Maywood, Cookies Woodland Hills, Cookies Sacramento, Lemonade Sacramento, Lemonade South Sac, Main Stage Sac and Davis, Zen Garden Wellness down in SoCal. You can get a Lemonade Van Nuys. So thanks again. See y'all back on the show. So tell me about uh, tell me about the indoor scene, man, the indoor drops, bro. Indoor has been, it's been a wild ride. I bought like this crazy ass air conditioning system that does all the fucking dehumidification and blah, blah, yeah. blah, right? Fucking trash. No Don't, shit. I, I, dude, I've lost like an M dealing with this fucking thing. I feel Fuck. like I, I owe, you know, ACO, that's like the biggest uh, mechanical contractor no, I in don't. Sacramento. So I hired them for like service because I had so many problems with my okay. HVAC. Okay. Um, I racked up a fucking bill with these guys. Jeez. Like they're there now, putting compre- no shit. Compressors getting burned out on a regular oh basis. God, like bro. I need to go back to the old ways of doing shit. I tried yeah. to get fancy, right? Yeah. I fucked up. What happens? When no, you, you get done fancy. fucked up. No, yeah. you fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Straight up, uh, I fucked up bad in Damn, this one. Dude. So, and I can't really retrofit it because I don't have the money to swap. I'd have to take out a ton of equipment and put in all new yeah. equipment. So I'm kind of just. Just figuring it out and just getting things dialed in. Riding the wave out. So, yeah, I'm finally yeah. there. I think I've just been bulking everything or I grow stuff for the homies on white sure. label deals. You know that. No know doubt. The, yeah. Of course. So of course. that's been the main gist of the indoor because it isn't my main focus anyways. Sure. But now um, we're going to drop the boxes for the first 10K. Um, but we're, dro- we're dropping the indoor. No, yeah, in just California? some flavors, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. hell yeah, bro! For sure. What flavors are? Every out? other state is indoor. I mean, you okay, can't. Got you. Most, oh, yeah, most places. Sure. Yeah, duh. Most places, the the power is cheaper than California. Yeah. The regulations are better. So, like, I usually will steer anyone to do indoor, and the climate usually sucks. Exactly. Yeah, you ain't going no outdoor in Florida. Uh-uh. Hell no. no. Sir. Yeah. No way. <laughs> it rains every thirty six seconds out there. <laughs> it's sunny. Well, it's just cooking and, and humidity. Cooking, the humidity is so high, it's rain. Bro. Yeah, for sure. Insane. So, like, greenhouses are tough. We'll probably do one there eventually, uh, but yeah. it's going to be a fucking badass greenhouse, souped up Sick. to the to the nines. You know, yeah. basically an indoor. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm but sure. we get. But I like getting the it's light in salad. there. You know, it, for sure, it's a yeah. salad. But I like getting the sun in there, the natural sun. I feel like it changes the turbs yeah. a bit. It oh, gives you yeah, something man. different. Yes. It gets you a different high. It's just a different, different high. Yeah. So let's talk about that. 100% it gets you a different so tell high. Tell the people, man. So cause... I honestly think that greenhouse weed is more medicinal. <clears throat> yeah. So a lot of it gets you fucking stoned. Yeah, you know, it, it might not even test that high, and it'll get you really stoned. The turps usually test, like everything tests higher in my greenhouses compared to my indoor. Okay. That's just, it is what it is. Wow. I've done a ton of R&D. No Test shit. higher. Cannabinoids higher. THC higher. Yeah. Uh, terpenes definitely higher. Always higher. Fuck, bro. Yeah. I think it's just a mixture. It's gotta be. You get, because it's mixed light too. So yeah. I use artificial lights, HPS, just like I use indoor. Mm-hmm. But I also get the sun. The big old one lighter. The sun whenever. Yeah, the big, <laughs> yeah, the big natural light. Yes, sir. And it, you can't beat the sun. It is what it is. No, you can't, especially in California. Yeah, for sure. It's great. Um, what so, else yeah, you that's, got? that's a little bit of difference, but going to drop the indoor. Okay. We're coming out with uh, a live resin vape right now, really, like, high-level quality. <laughs> yeah, that's Florida. That's out. Look at this fucking hog. five grammer. Yeah. Five grams live resin, and it's fire. Is the plug in there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's hitting. Look at that. It works. Like a fucking <laughs> hog, boys. How's the flavor yeah, on that, yeah, too? It's nice, bro. It's not it's on the burn. five grammar. Yeah, it's real. Yeah. Look at this fucking thing. It's a salt web. I can smoke, yeah, you check get myself, it. fucking, you know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. It's a weapon. This thing's sick, dude. 
Yeah, it's legit. That should be on everyone's coffee table in the next Bro, two months I'm in about Florida. To fucking hang this thing on my wall. Or mm-hmm. This thing's fire, <laughs> dude. Holy shit. Yeah, five grams. What do they retail for? Just curious. Honestly, I, I have they deal with the the pricing, so I don't know where that's going to be. Like, I'd have to get my like. We just got the prototypes, basically. How do I smoke? It would be cool. You know what I'm saying? Is it like this? Is it like this? You know what I'm I saying? don't even know. You definitely don't do this. No, no, no we ain't doing the double gripper. <laughs> yeah. Yo, this shit is it's sick, a beast. Bro. This is I cool. know, that shit's funny. Dropping live resin in California. In Cali, but it's a different. It's more like a. Like the nicotine vapes, like everyone wants gotcha. that round, yeah. you know, that, that fucking cool little feel. pocket. Yeah. So that's the one, soft touch. Give the people what they the want. With the P on it, clean. It's it's done. done. Yeah, it's done. Done and fucking done, bro. Yeah, we're doing a. Uh, you know how we do like the gram lanyards? Yes. I put a little hook on the on the vape. So, oh, there you go. Boom. Throw it on the lanyard. Stick your. Yeah, man. Yeah. You'll see. Drugs on my neck, baby. <laughs> Drugs on the me? neck, exactly. Love it, bro. Nah, it's dope. Let's talk about some things I've been hearing uh, whispers of in Arizona. Project oh, PAX. Oh, yeah, AZ, Project PAX. So AZ, they Shout out to the homie Nate out there. Uh, okay. He's putting together basically what we do in Florida with the flowery is mm-hmm. kind of the same situation. It's a house of brands, yeah. and you got a badass grower who, who runs the spot, right? So Jordan, head, head grower of Blueprint, partner, of Blue, owner of Blueprint. Is the cult is in charge of cultivation for Project Pack, and there's a team out there who's great too. They've been running big facilities in AZ. Nice. These guys are fucking badass. So I'm feeling very comfortable about Project Pack. They got a great facility, a great team. Uh, the sales team is dope. Like nice, there's hella culture there. It's 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 real. There really is. Yeah, you can go there and there do really big is. smokeouts in like a smoke shop. Oh like it's, sick. Yeah. It's, it's tripping. what we like to do, you know. They're not tripping. Listen, Arizona's the wild west, bro. My wife, I met my wife in Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona. So I yeah, know this AZ is in Phoenix. Very well, it's lit, bro. I was getting yeah. fire. That's where I got introduced to fire ass West Coast weed back in the early two Gs. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, no, the culture's culture's popping in Super AZ, good. surprisingly, because I I didn't really have an idea until I got out there. Yeah, you don't you don't know what to expect until you go out there. You know what I'm saying? It's different. Same with everywhere. It's yeah, same with like everywhere, Florida right? was the same. I was like, what? Yeah. You guys know about all this other stuff, you know, and it's they're just it's just different. It's, when there's you all the little nuances. Was that your first time going? It was, yeah. Oh no shit. Okay. Everywhere I go is for weed. I've yeah. never been anywhere other than oh, that. Is that. It's right? all weed shit, yeah. No shit, bro. I've been to like Vegas and Lake yeah, right. Tahoe, you right, know what right. I mean? Sure. But like any sure. other any other states have been uh weed related. Work. Yeah. It's all work. Yeah. I'm curious. Do you, do you work with other brands? Do you do white label projects with other brands, and, and how, how, what? Yeah. How, what does that look like? How, how do you I mean, how do you I get culti- in with preferred? I cultivate for other brands. I mean, you know, we're all homies. We yeah, have no. a, we have a solid circle, as you know. Be in the circle, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a circle that not many people can get in. You know, so like, right there's not self. many options for, you know, white label situations for these high level brands. And, you know, I don't really say names for weed yeah. I'm growing because you never know. They might want to keep that a secret at for the time sure. or whatnot. But yeah. that's what I've been doing for the, with the indoor no facility. Doubt. Yeah. No doubt. That's cool, man. Yeah, that's I've been awesome, feeding bro. a lot of brands. That's awesome. It's always yeah. good. Let me ask you this, man, so you give the people some game, bro. What, what, what advice would you give somebody, you know, that is doing what you do in the cannabis space, like your positioning, you know what I'm saying, from a cultivator in multiple states? like Man, I can advice? give... I could give a lot of advice because I've taken a ton of L's and I think that's where the advice comes from is taking the big L's, you know, but, uh, one huge one is shout out to Cosmo. I don't know if you know Cosmo, my boy Cosmo, he's a fucking, he's a monster. Burner's producer. He's on the show next week. Thank God. I love Cosmo. That, that's one of my favorite dudes in the industry for sure. That's the homie. He told me, so this was early times of me like legalization i'm still deep into business brands popping but he told me about contracts right okay so when you're doing contracts with people which is a must now no handshake deals can happen anymore yeah right so you these are big deals like a lot especially with the brand with the grow with any of these legal things it all has to be papered up oh absolutely right and most of them are con tracks Mm mm-hmm you know what I mean? Yep. So you have to have the upper hand. You have to produce the contract. Yes. You have bro. to have your own attorney. If, 
If you're gonna do big business, don't if and you ain't have the money, then don't fuck with it. You, yeah. You're not ready. You need to have enough money to have your own attorney. Yep. You have to make your own contract. That's right. You don't want to take anyone else's contract and try to chop it up and redline it and give it back to them because yeah. you're not going to get very far. Yeah. You have to have your own contract made. And you can come up with that contract on your own. It doesn't cost – like you can get it done through LegalZoom or whatever. You can build your own contract. Sure. Right? But you need to be the one that produces the contract. That's right. Cosmo told me that, and it saved me my fucking ass. I love that Damn, dude. bro. I love that dude because it changed the game when I started doing that. That's cool. So bro. then I have rules, and it's above board, so then they redline it, right? Exactly. You redline Which is fine. Contract. Go ahead. Give me yeah. some red lines. I put a bunch of extra shit in there for you to redline, right? Because yeah, yeah. that's what a contract is. Yeah, man. Because you get them from other people, and they're you're starting from fucking way down in the dirt. You got to try and build yourself Uh up and you can't ask for too much. Exactly. If you want the deal, you know, so produce the contract. That's That's a good one. That's, that's a huge piece of advice that has helped me. It's probably saved me millions of dollars. Saved me from losing my brand. Possibly it saved me from a lot of things. So fucking shout out Cosmo. I love that. Yeah. I'm going to tell him that next week too. Tell him. Yeah, Yeah, I will. That was a big game. That's cool, man. Yeah. I took that one deep too. Yeah, he's he's doing his thing, man. He's about to drop an album too. I know. He was gracious enough to come on the show prior to. He's like, hey, cool Jean, I've man, heard a little bit of that album. Let's do uh let's let's do it before I drop this album. Shit's about to get wild. I'm like, let's fucking run it, bro. He's popping. I'm so proud. Me yeah, too, man. Shit. He's cool, man. He's the best. You know it's funny? He's helped me a lot. He helps so many people. Yeah. He doesn't ask for shit. I believe that's it, bro. a real dude. I believe it, man. That's a real ass dude. You can tell, man. You can tell when someone's selfless like that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? For sure. The first time I talked to him. I didn't even know who the fuck he was, but I knew who he was. I just listened to his shit like two days ago. Like, yeah. And I'm talking to him. I'm like, yeah, what's good, bro? What's your name, anyways? Oh, Cosmo and shit. I'm like, oh, word, that's what's up. You producer? Yeah, you, oh, yeah. You, man. What's <laughs> yeah. up, man? You're the but, man. But the reason yeah. I liked him is because he was in one of my jars. He goes, he goes, yo, this shit smell like. This shit smell like a white slice from Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. <laughs> I'm like, yo, who the fuck is this guy? I love this guy. He's the shit. I've never heard those words spoken in fucking yeah. California. He's I was like, I fucking too. like he's this a guy. Real, he's a real ass dude. Yeah, he's a good yeah. dude, man. Yeah. He's a good dude. We be smoking. Yeah, yeah. He's so, solid. Yeah, he's the, he's probably one of my favorite dudes in the in the industry, if not the, my favorite dude. Nice, bro. Yeah, he's, nice. he's a great friend. Hell he's yeah, He's helped man. me a lot. How long do you guys go back? Not that long. That's a, that's another thing. Probably like 2019. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. It's one of the guys though. You meet one of the guys that like just, you know. You don't have to be guy. blood. You don't. Know. Yeah. You don't have to be blood to yeah, be I family. Know this guy. You know what I mean? That's exactly. It. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Blood sticking in water, but you need water to live, right? Yeah. Hell you know yeah. But that game is fucking valuable. Like that oh, piece yeah. right there. Yeah. Is is the one? Honestly, it's especially trying to do this kind of stuff yeah, because. Bro. You, you're going to get into some fucking crazy... I've been in some crazy shit. Crazy you know? situations, yeah, right? crazy situation. People get weird yeah. when money's involved. They do. And I'm good at what I do. It is what it is. Yeah. So, like, I get taken advantage of, you know? Like, sure. And, and things work. You know what I mean? When things work, it can be just as ugly as when things don't work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, the yeah. middle is the nice ground, but things work for me. Yeah. I'm going to make it work. That's right. You know what I mean. Right. So fuck yeah, I get into a lot of a lot of fucking greed and weird shit happens. Yeah, so you gotta bro. you gotta be papered up properly. Yeah, that's absolutely. A, that's a huge one. Absolutely. And that that jewel you dropped about you know make sure you have money to have a lawyer, bro. Like yeah, or yeah, you're not you ready. It is what it is. Don't ready. take your time. It's not man. take your fucking time. That's a huge yeah. one too. Take your fucking time yeah. because I always in the beginning I was so gung ho and everyone's so gung ho in this industry, you know. But at the end of the day. Like, you could start, like, brands have started out of fucking nowhere when you think it's impossible. Oh, hell yeah, man. And popped and been the biggest brand ever. Yeah. You know, because they took their seen, time and they did it right. Time again, bro. Instead of jumping in and doing whatever. So this, it can happen at any time. It's like, I just, just learned that going, throughout man. the years. I always thought, oh, I'm going to miss op- miss this huge opportunity, but a much better opportunity will come along for sure if you're doing what you're doing. That's true. Sure. I recently heard a saying that, you know, where you are in life right now, you prayed about one before. Like you prayed about this day yeah. on a previous day. Where you are right now, you prayed yeah, for that I think shit. about that all the time. Sitting at this table like this with a microphone, like, who the fuck am I? Right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Right? Same. Yeah. Same, man. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> and you dude. own the mic. 
Yeah, yeah, it's, <laughs> fucking, it's a trip, dude. It's a trip. I it's know, a it fucking is. trip. Huge. Bro. We, that's what I said earlier. We've came a long way. Like, I just bought a car for my wife on a surprise, and I was like coming nice, down. Man. It was up the hill. Like, I had to go pick it up. I Ubered out. It was yeah, like, I did the bow thing. You know what I mean? Oh, you did the bow thing. I'm coming bow, down the bow, hill and fucking. You, I just had that feeling, like, just feeling it, like. This, Weird fucking liquids coming out of my eyes. Yeah. I don't know what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know what it is, bro. Just <laughs> I swear you know to God. <laughs> but I'm like, <laughs> I'm driving home and I'm thinking about how far we came. Beautiful, bro. And it's fucking nuts. Like, it's nuts. That's good pizza. Me and her, that's some good ass pizza. That's some good ass pizza. Oh, no bro. joke. Yeah. And Fuck that's real. Man. I love that, yeah, man. That's real. And man. That, was, that was a great feeling. What, uh, what kind of, no, 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 tell them what kind of whip. We don't want nobody know. It's a bucket. Charlie. Yeah. I'm saying, no, don't she's, worry, don't worry about the, it. She's Still the baddest bitch on. on the road, that's for Feel sure. Me? Yeah, you hear me? That's what's up, bro. Rightfully so. Rightfully so. Yeah. So, what's the next five ten look like for preferred, bro? What's on the game plan, bro? What's I the just stick to mission, what I bro? do. So the mission Keep is just going. grow the best weed I possibly can. I'm not trying Shit. to get too big. Um, Shit, I, I mean, I want to be. I want to touch every state. That's a okay. huge goal. But I need to do it properly, and I'm going to yeah. take my time to do that to find the proper partners to do it right. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to just fucking go let someone grow some boof and stick it in a pee bag. It's not going to happen. No way, dude. We're going to build the team big enough to where we can touch everywhere and QC everything, and that's the goal. That's beautiful. That And that's in the contract. Nothing goes out unless we personally QC it. Is that right? That's in, that con that's in nice. my contract, yeah. Nice. So That you wrote. So people got to take an L sometimes. They might be upset about it, but it is what it is. It's in the contract. I'll, that's perfect. We'll end it then if you're going to drop some shit like that, that we don't want to drop. Yeah. yeah. No shit, man. That's fucking great. Oh, so in this situation where um, you guys, it doesn't pass QC, do you guys just have outlets? You can just bulk it out somewhere? Depends on the brands. state. Depends you can't state. when it's vertical in Florida. You Is know? that right? Yeah, you can't do that. It's vertical. You Whoa. have to grow your own weed, sell your own weed. There's no you distro, can't, distro L to L type no, shit going on? No distro, nothing. Everything's so different than Cali. That's That was so. a big learning lesson when I started jumping in these other states. Yeah. Is I was like, all right, where's the third-party distro? We got to do the testing here. They're like, What? AZ, same. No distro. You testing comes to you. You get to pick the test. You get to pick the test. <laughs> I what? was like, "What do you mean you get to what? pick the test?" Oh. So I could test something at thirty five percent or four percent terps and try to, you know, fake the funk. That's that what people that? must be doing. You know what I mean? Wow. And that's whack. Wow. Yeah, that's whack. Yeah, that's whack. But luckily, we got all dope like that, genetics, bro. and you know it's popping. It's but, like that, bro. But there's the rules are looser in most places. Yeah. Florida's tough. Florida is a very tough market because it's governed a certain way, and it and it's vertical, and like testing is strange. like we we're getting a low test in the beginning. It's real. It's way more real. You know, Cali is you can't trust the fluff. fucking tests. Little yeah, that's going on. Yeah, you, whoever's got the most money got the highest test. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah, you ever noticed that? Oh yeah, yeah. The big dog's got thirty fives all day. back to back. All day. <laughs> yeah, the whole menu, bro. Thirty five, thirty five, thirty five. It's crazy, bro. <clears throat> like I, I got a batch of fugazi right now. It's probably my most smoking batch. It's at twenty seven. When I wanted to go take a piss, I, I didn't even look at my phone. I looked at my watch. Hey, bro. Hey, the club said, uh, "Could we just not take the one that's twenty seven percent?" It's it's out smoking everything. Twenty seven too. Think about that. Like on, it's, bro. It was a big order too. That kind of sucks. Yeah, like twenty percent was so high. Messages. That's just laugh this twenty-seven is is high as fuck. It's crazy. But the, the and it's like three percent terps, bro. You know what I'm saying days, like, yeah. well, don't fun. fuck with that shop. That's what you need to start doing. I know. That, that was where I got I a little know, powerful dog. with the mix light. Was like, all right, you don't pay on time, I can't sell you weed. You don't fucking you price my shit way too high, I can't sell you weed. No. You get too picky with the testing and weird. Yeah. It's fine. I'm going to sell it's it. It's not going to sell I'm you gonna, Yeah, I'm going to sell it. It's going to sell. Yeah. I don't get too big. It's almost where I'm at, to, like, bro. have to, like, force people to buy it. Yeah. Because I'm not you, big. Once you get there, it feels good. Then you're yeah, powerful. Man. You can, oh, sorry. You, you need to get that, some bro. repertoire with us. You can have, like, a, a quarter pound right now, and then yeah. we'll work we'll work up from there. Yeah. Because you got to be careful. You can go out on AR and be owed, like, 100 bands. Easy. I can't do that. I'll be fucked. No, hell no. Yeah, I need to pay hell payroll. No. I'm still hella mom and pop, as big as we seem. We're right. very mom and pop. Yeah, definitely. Like, as you mom and pop as bro. it can be, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. But people, yeah, the employees gotta gotta eat. We gotta keep payroll going and everything else. So I can't let the stores dictate that. I yeah. can't let them pay their people and not pay the vendors because yeah. the vendors gotta 
pay people too. Exactly. You know, we're not some big corporation. Exactly. So yeah. you got to get picky, even if even if it's tough at the time and you need that sale. You got to figure out how to get picky because there is great quick. there is great partners out there, retail partners. That definitely, are great. man. Yeah. Definitely. Shout out to everybody that's selling through. For sure. We got a hell of fucking it, yeah. help. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah. like, I understand my new brand. Gotta you're doing help. it right though. You're doing exact. You're doing it Thank exactly you, how it should be done. Thank you. I see you there, you, yeah, the main fuck, the owner, yeah, in the fucking dispensary. That's right. Sitting be- by yourself, pretty much. Solo, yeah. Having the convers like that's the real deal. That's what needs to happen. Yeah, man. That's what people don't understand. You can't just throw money at it, throw random people that don't know what they're talking about out there. No, you need bro. to. You need to get build that stack that connection definitely and i respect it Good thank for you, you. Bro. Yeah, yeah. thank you man yeah you got to bootstrap it man and then just find people that are it. about your mission you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying like if i if you're a brand rep of mine bro you you about the mission you know what time it is for sure you know shout out to all the homies shout out to d shout out to um just the whole squad man Hell tony yeah. fucking simone uh tino adam you know the whole squad the growers cadre blueprint or yeah. or jordan jordan <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? yes sir Y'all know. Yeah. Yeah, man. Nah, but that's the way. I respect that a Thank lot. Because that's, that's what I believe in, you know. Yeah. You still see the the whole team's with me now, which is cool. But yeah. it might be just me. It might just be me and wifey. Yeah, you know, man. that's what we do. In another state. You got to do it, bro. Yeah. You got to do it, man. Don't, yeah, don't get too show big. And, and now I know who can sell it, who can't. And now, now I am starting to get selective. Like, you know what, man? They were cool, but, like, I can't can't do it bro. yeah it doesn't like, it's work just, it's not working and that's okay yeah. Yeah. Like, maybe maybe my 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 flower is not for your shop mm-hmm. that's cool I'm, I'm not that big where I it's got too it. good you know it's got to be a good I mean, price point i know <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does it does it you, does. Know, you I, gotta collect say. that data and figure out who yeah it's batch can, to batch bro. who can deal with that you, you know? know we pass on hell of shit and it sucks sometimes you know what i mean i might yeah, only have two flavors might have three flavors but it's yeah. what it is at least you know if it's in the good pizza bag it's smoking uh-huh for sure hell yeah let me ask you this, brother. What do you know that the industry should know? Or what do you call bullshit on out there, man? I mean, the testing. That's the big the bullshit. Yeah, yeah the bro. testing's the big bullshit. Testing Because in Florida, it's much tighter. Like I said, it seems way more true. Yeah. Um, and I can't really explain why. But you can't pay them extra money. Like, you have to test. There's only a couple of testing companies. I think that's probably There's a yeah. it's standardized, you know? Um, but the testing's bullshit. Like Terps is what we should be looking at. THC 100%. is fucking whack. Like who cares? 100%. You know, I get way higher off of stuff. Like you said, that twenty seven will probably get me. I mean, that's a high ass test though, so that's different. But what was so 20, twenty seven problem, bro? Nineteen would be the one. Yeah, yeah nineteen bro. was extreme. Yeah. Tw- if you beat twenty, that was huge. Yeah, bro. Yeah. So that's why I'm thrown off by you know how how they standardized it in California. That's bullshit. Um, I mean, it's a ton of bullshit. No, that's a good one, bro. <laughs> yeah. and, that, and that one comes up a lot, and, a lot I'm glad, and I'm glad it does come up a lot because people need to hear that shit, bro. Yeah, for sure. What's all your check boxes for quality cannabis? Like, how do you QC? What do you guys look for? Uh, it starts with smell. Yeah. Look doesn't matter at all anymore. It usually starts with smell and then, you know, smoke testing. That's It's the tough one. It's It's all a timing thing at this point, really. Like, how long does it need to be cured? If if the batch is right, then it it can be to smoke to the smokeability that we want it to be, but it might take a month in a Grove bag. You know yeah. what I mean? It might take a yeah. week. We don't know. Sometimes it's smoking off the gate. That's pretty rare, yeah. but yeah, sometimes it it's smoking when it's wet. But that's yeah. when you know that batch is special. And by the mm-hmm. time it gets to the customer, is it? It's it's really like a really fine line right now because of distro testing packaging. So we're to the point, I think, because the, the whole crew smokes tough. Yeah. So we're to the point of knowing if it's going to be a good batch. Okay. And then it can go through that transition through the packaging or whatnot. Mm-hmm. Hopefully it doesn't get sat in a hot van. We pray it doesn't sit in the back of a distro. But it happens, yeah. right? We've yeah, gone through it, it all. We've Batches have been amazing and gotten fucked up. Yeah. So... It's a hard one. We're talking California right now. Yeah. It's a little easier the other places. Yeah, it's fucking Because it's hot almost here, direct there. It's oh, like, direct, yeah. This, the process is quicker. It's way quicker. It can yeah. go directly to the store. 
we can, right now we can't have like uh, we can't demand stores to have like a certain temperature in their shop or anything. Yeah, you know what I mean. So yeah. like you never know where it's gonna go. It's yeah, it's 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 an agriculture product and it you know degrades over time and degrades super fast over temperature and humidity. Mm -hmm. When it's not in the right realm, it happens quick. The most smoking batch ever. You set it in your car for twenty five minutes, and it's fucking a hundred degrees outside. Mm -hmm. It, it's going to burn dark. You know yeah. what I mean? It'll, yeah. bring, it'll bring the moisture out of the stem into back into the flower, and then when you break that down and smoke it, it's going to be wet. It's not going to ignite the same. So it'll be burned different, you mm -hmm. know? So, yeah, and I'm sure you've had reviews come back, like some shit that you were just so hyped about, yeah. and they were like, oh, this shit ain't smoking like you said it was. Yeah. It's burning. Like, no way it's burning dark. What do you yeah. mean? Yeah. You can't track that back. The distro might have transferred it to the desert, in a distro van, their AC broke, or they went and fucking went to the gas station or went to a restaurant, left it in the car. People don't understand or they care understand as that. much about no. your product as we do. We're so passionate and crazy about it, <clears throat> but we only have this window to be like that. You know, once it mm -hmm. passes out of our hands, it's, it is out of our hands, and we can't, there's no dictating what happens after that. So that's been the shittiest and most anxiety I ever have is when you pass it off and it's great. Yep. You know, then you got to just pray. I mean, you can stay hard on the distros. You can do whatever you can mm -hmm. in your power that helps. Yep. But still, it only helps so much. Yeah, man. It's a ticking time bomb. I know. Weed, yeah. Man. I'm going to put GPS on my ship. Start putting GPS on the bags. Cool. Yeah. That would be cool, bro. <laughs> With the camera. Yep. And a mic. And a mic. <laughs> what the fuck y'all talking about, man? Yeah. And, yo, I love how you explain that, bro. That's literally the process of how the weed throat flows through all the channels in California. Yeah. Until it gets to the end user. It makes and it tough. when it gets to the club, you know, they don't even got to drop your shit right away. Mm -mm. They can wait for drop day. I've seen clubs drop. They got two flavors in mind. They'll drop one flavor, wait till that one's gone, drop the next flavor, and talk about this shit's old. Like, Yeah. Here's a bad what one. What are we doing? The big chain stores. Yeah. All They're all kind of following a model right now. The model is... We have a distribution center. It's just the fucking cheapest warehouse they can find. Right. Maybe no HVAC. Yeah. Whatever. Right. That right? Part. Distribution center, so then they can spread it out to all their stores. Yep. All the chains are doing that now, so that scares the shit out of me because no one's allowed in the distribution center. I can give them a full SOP, like, hey, it has to be this temp, this right. humidity, but I can't check that, and it's not happening. No, I, I promise dude. you, it's not happening. Like, I personally jammed up. I did a white label deal with some big hitters with a big name okay. where they bought Mix Light and they were going to package it or whatnot. Right, and right. I, I'll pop up at the fucking distro because I tell them no shit. this shit has to stay a certain temp, this, that. They don't have their bags coming in for a week. So, in between right. then, I can't have this to great, right? Right. So, I'll pop up on them. I've done it multiple times showed up at a random distro like hey let me see uh those bags that you picked up you know that's fucking and it's it's awkward do. but that's how passionate i am about how you know it's you're gonna put my name on it yeah even that's if you don't do, put my bro. name on it someone might word of mouth and say that that's where it came from yeah usually you can track it which farm yeah, it came bro. from you know yes, you so can. like the coas bro yeah with the coa yeah uh they're getting trickier now and using the distro you can use the distro uh, license number instead of the farm. Okay. So that's how white label is getting a little bit. A little they're tricky. hiding the, yeah, the grows. Yeah, the origins. Yeah. yeah. But before, you could always pick it out. You could be like, oh, yeah, yeah. Dave grew this one. Oh, Jordan yeah. grew this one. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, this is from that facility. Okay, this this batch came from their Oakland facility. You know oh, what I'm up. talking about. This one about. came from TJT. Hold up. Yeah, 100%. Hold up. Oh, yeah. that's the one right we there. We know that's the one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's the trip, bro. Yeah. Wow, man. But, yeah, that's just the little details that there, people bro. don't really understand. But, I mean, we understand it, but yeah, cause that's we the thing is we're it. all – we're so knee-deep and dorked out. I mean, yeah. we have retail, Fiori, so I have a little bit more data on who actually buys the weed. Is They're yeah. different They're different than us. They don't know what we know. They need to understand. They're, they we got to push the education to get them to figure out what we know. Yeah, It's going to take a long time, of course. It is. It but just telling them, like – should be buying off terps you should be buying you should be finding growers that you like and picking off that yep. like you shouldn't be just looking at thc at 40 percent and just buying it because 
it's the cheapest price yeah. either if you really like product and you want a certain feel or you need a certain you need some med- medicinal effect from it you need to figure that out you know what i yes. mean but they don't want to it's not their passion no so you can't get people to put in a lot of effort in even learning and it's so, the life is rough for everybody like it everyone's really is, busy bro. as shit they got kids and prob everyone has problems you know what i mean it's like so sure. much stuff so you know, they only have so much so little amount of time to educate themselves or to work on themselves or whatever yeah. it is so like it's hard sure. to educate people on stuff that they don't really care about so much they're like i just want to get high i just i just got off of work bro i just want to buy i just want to get high i don't give a f- what is a terp what you know terp, what i mean bro give me the fucking 40s yeah <laughs> give me that 40 percent you get those jeters yeah yeah bro it's <laughs> fucking nutty man yeah that's it i mean it is what it is though it is what it is bro it's just part of it man and you got you gotta bend a bit here and there it's what you gotta do man yeah and you gotta game up the bud tenders and and the bud tenders like i do a lot of these bud tender Boom. trains and I always start with, you know, hey, what's your name? Where are you from? How long you been in cannabis? Just I just want to read the room real mm-hmm. quick. A lot of these kids are fucking one, two years in, bro. What the fuck do they know? Respectfully, yeah, like, you sure. got to learn. You know what I mean? Definitely. But butt tenders are usually, they have that, you know, they have they have some passion behind it. Definitely, For the most man. part, you know? Because they know I it's I click with level. a ton of butt tenders. Yeah, That's definitely, always the man. Best. Yeah. Definitely. I love that, man. Hell yeah. You forget when how much. When the butt tenders are buying your weed is the best feeling yes. ever. You know what yes. I mean? It's like, fuck yeah. And I've gotten those calls. Yeah. Like, yo, yeah. bro, like a lot of these butt tenders are buying your shit, dude. That's a good thing. I was like, really? No, I already know they dude. are. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. so that's cool. You're a hometown cool. hero. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, right. That's just the best. Yeah, shout out Sacramento, man. I love y'all, man. Yeah. It's my first. Sac-town. It's my hometown in California, man. It's my it's my California birthplace. Yeah. Hell yeah. And in fact, on the two days ago, it was my six year anniversary here, man. Oh, damn. Been here six years already. Nice. Can't fucking believe it, man. Yeah. God damn, man. You have an anniversary for the state. You must you must have some passion for I California. I do, bro. Yeah. I do. And I stick up for Sacramento. I rep Sacramento, man. It's my, my hometown in California, bro. Yeah. I love Sac, man. Sac's Sac, good Sac to is me. great, honestly. I mean, I'm still here. I got can go wherever the hell I yeah, want man. at this point. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. It's great. It's good. Still building yeah, facilities. Bro. Still trying to Sacramento. That's it, baby. Holding it down. Yeah. Yeah, damn right. Hell yeah. Yeah, damn right. We'll get the condo, though. <laughs> We're going to get the condo in Florida. Yeah. So yeah. we'll let you know when it's on Airbnb. <laughs> you can fuck with it. Yeah. Let me ask you this, bro. Uh, successful guy like you, I'm always curious if there's a morning routine. Do you have a special morning routine that you do? What you got, what you got in the morning for us, bro? <laughs> Man, I wish. So the, my thing was 4 a.m., get an exercise in. I have my, like, a full-on routine, you know? Yes, sir. It's gotten I've, – I've stacked the plate so fucking high. <laughs> yeah, I, I got excuses I for days. So, like – yeah. I wake up now. These other states are a problem because they're three hours ahead or whatever, right? Yeah, so yeah. they're like, hit me up, marketing meeting, fucking whatever it is, whatever yeah. you need. I need content. I need this. I need to know these strain names. I need this. Blah blah mm-hmm. blah. So my early mornings turned into like a bunch of emails. Okay. I ha- if I get behind, I get buried quick. I got so you. like I got to be careful. Sure. Like me getting on an airplane is a good thing because. You can look at my phone and there's 200,000 unread emails. You know, there's 650 texts. Yeah. Like my network is huge. Yeah. And like I'm, sure. I'm readily available for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's just who I am. No doubt. Like whatever no doubt. you need, bro, I'm here. I, I get back to you, you know? Hell yeah. So, but if I slip up, mm-hmm. and I'll get buried. So I get up hella early in the morning. Okay. Like I take 4 shit serious. That's respectable, yeah. bro. I take it serious. Sometimes three if I have to. 4 a.m. club, wow. What time are you taking it down, boss? That's the problem. I don't get much sleep. A lot of times midnight. I've been I've been going to bed a little bit earlier now. Yeah. Should it's it's catching up to me. I'm gonna it be will, forty bro. in like a week and a half. So it's, it's really will. catching oh, up. Salute, to me. bro. Yeah. By the time this drops, this fellow will be forty years old. So wish him <laughs> happy birthday. Hell yeah. That's cool, man. You got any weird skills or life hacks you care to share with us? I mean, I've fuck cultivated anything you give me, but that's I think that's a weird skill. That's, that's a, a weird that's skill. That's kind of friend. a rare skill. It but, is. Uh, I can jump rope like a motherfucker. See, we wouldn't have guessed that. Fucking crossovers. Let's go, doubles. bro. Oh, yeah, I crush it. I used to box. Oh, yeah. there you go. Yeah. There you go. Same. Yeah. Same. So yeah, that's pretty uh, nice with a jump rope. I can get down. I mean, I'm heavy right now. I'm not as yeah. good. My feet and knees yeah, are you're heavy jacked. right now, playboy. Oh, for Poo-poo. sure. But I'll still I'll still get after it. That's right. I'll challenge. Yeah. I do 30 minutes straight like four times a week when I was boxing. 30 minutes straight. No shit. No, no other boxers were doing that. No so my shit. footwork was on point. Ooh. So yeah. Um, That's dog yard shit, But it bro. fucked up my feet hella bad, yeah. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. 
But that's uh, something that I. Oh, I was I thinking. Have. I was thinking uh, far, for sparring. You're still talking jump rope. Sorry, jump this rope. Thing, this thing, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> me a little buzzed up because I didn't even start smoking. Yeah, yet. jump rope. Jump rope. Damn, dude. Yeah, light up straight. the stir. Yeah, let's light these up. Yeah, let's light these things. I'm gonna light up some Z. Shop on your labs. Throw some fire ass Z. Who's that from? Uh, Lab Exotics. My homie up in uh, Rosa. Oh, that shit's fire. This shit's yeah. fire, my boy. I met them at a couple of uh, couple fire, of events. Bro. I was like, damn. Is that like a tissue culture cut or something? Because that Z looks one, great. My boy, the yeah. homie got one. Yeah, me and yeah. my bro Gino locked that fucking garden down immediately. Oh, uh, yeah, they crush yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, We just yeah. fucking clear that boy. As soon as that just, shit's fire. Just let us know, player. We yeah, got yeah. you. No, I need we that. We got you. Your money's waiting for you. I just need that smoke. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. I, I rock it as uh, Zeppelis. Nice. Like, you know what I mean? Just yeah, have yeah. fun with the name for Hell the brand yeah. and shit. For sure. So if you had a weed superpower, what would it be? to fucking turn every genetic into a winner <laughs> solid bro i feed on so solid. many thousands of beans yeah. like if i could just boom solid that's bro. the one I they would fuck up the game i don't know if that would be a bad one no I no guess. no we need that bro don't, but if, don't if i had it yeah if i had it then it'd yeah, be yeah there you go there you go that's a good one man i love hearing the grower answers are always so different from the rest bro oh uh, yeah yeah man <laughs> for sure so my friend now it's time to bust down your top three strains of all time we're gonna go one old school one desert island you stuck on the island with it for the rest of your life and something new you fucking with what you got for us? old Dave? school uh old school would be probably that that headband that 707 headband mm, a great one yeah no that that uh I fucking want that one back so bad. I'd kill someone for that cut. <laughs> I bet you would crush in this this day and age, especially in our circle. Yeah, bro. Hell yeah. I remember the headband days Yeah. in Jersey. Yeah. That Paul Pierce. Oh, uh, yeah. The Paul Pierce. Yeah. Weezy dropped that track, and it was just like, it was It was even cooler to have headband. For sure. You know that's what I'm saying? Exactly, that's exactly what it yeah, was. Yeah, bro. What you taking on the island with you, my bro? OG. OG, another yeah. point for OG some on the gas, island. Gas, for sure. Yeah. Gas. Yeah. You can, like, if you find some good gas, that's like, like Z. Z's a lot like, Z's like the new, you know, good gas OG. It's like yeah. something that you could always smoke, always, for sure. Always, bro. Yeah. Always. And a, and a proper batch of it is just to fucking die for, man. Yeah, it's always timeless, too. It's just, I mean, it's really hard to find, though. That's timeless terps yeah. yeah it is it is yeah i always like that uh the garrison lane you ever you, yo yes yeah. bro that white drop, ash used to right have after, that yeah yeah fire yeah that drop right that's after like I real there. gas yeah real gas bro. real gas that that's what lane. i haven't been able to find really Same. not not a cut for sure i mean i've had a couple batches that i got to smoke but i haven't been able to find that cut yeah Elfin's growth had a cool one, but who the fuck got good. money for that, yeah, bro? Yeah, no, nah, you know theirs is good. It's, it's a little sweet, though. It's sweet. We're looking for burnt rubber. I've had a, quite a bit of the elephant's growth. Yeah. From, uh, the homies usually buy bigger batches of that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, our boys smoke, smoke. So the, you'll, bu you'll bump a, into it. I had it. a good experience. I smoked elephant's growth on a fucking private jet. Did you? Yeah. Was, fuck that was a real deal. That was a fuck. And it was smoking. That was a fuck. <laughs> yeah, was you got there right. Yeah. Damn, son, I never on smoked a PJ. in the air yet, bro, on, on a, a PJ. PJ. That's that fire, was insane. Bro. I got some videos of that, I think. I bet you do. Full big got jar to. of elephants grow. We were blowing it down. It was Baller, getting boxed. Bro. I was getting a little nervous. It was getting boxed. It was getting bro. boxed. Yeah. Pilot was cool? He was, he was a little, he came back and hey, tripped guys. a little bit. Yeah, but he was used to it, obviously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know how we roll, big old doiks. Oh, yeah. We got to try that. But it's not down to the hash yet, but that's No, it's, that's on. totally fine. Good flavor. Um, and then what's something new you fucking with, my friend? That's a tough God, one. That's so a, many. <laughs> yeah. It's always a. It's always like a no name. There's a lot of. Like that D one's fire for D1's sure. So fire. Yeah. Bro. Um, I got that on my menu. For damn. Sure. Super tough one. I got a. There's Uncle Dad Vibes did like a Snacks Times Caramel Apple. It's in one of these boxes. Oh, wow. It smells kind of like a like a blue cookie. It reminds me of like a blue oh, cookie. Shit. You remember the blue cookie? You got damn yeah. right, bro. It's a lot like that. Love blue cookie. So bro. we'll say we'll say that. Uncle Dad Vibes. He's been coming with some okay. fire-ass genetics. Fire-ass name, too. Yeah. 
fire ass genetics. He he bred okay. snacks. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yo, that was that one of my new favorite poppin'. candies, bro. Yeah, bro. That shit is popping. Florida fucking goes crazy oh, over the snacks. I bet, bro. bro. I smoked that at um one of Doja had invented a smoke shop in Sac. Uh, I think this was the night I met you, bro. Possibly. Yeah, yeah. And uh That's right. I met you at the pop up. Snacks. You gave me a doink. Yeah. Yes, sir. See, that's and he like had the that, snacks on the, on the that pop-up. says a lot. That's like what that's what I fuck with. You know what I mean? Those kind of connections. Yeah, man. Are here's forever, sweet, dude. You know I mean? Nice to meet you. <laughs> you know, that's how it should that's be. That's a great ass batch. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's a great batch. For real. Always though, they're laying. <coughs> oh yeah, killing it, man. Yeah, killing it, bro. If uh, you could bring back one strain, what would it be? Seven oh seven headband. Seven oh seven yeah. headband right. for the people. I always think about that all the time. That's what I want. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. <coughs> it talk. was just so great. <coughs> it was, bro. It was perfect. Yeah. Let's talk weed etiquette. What's your weed pet peeve? Smoking, growing, whatever. Well, what, what fucking grinds your gears? I mean, don't ash it, of course. When it, in the beginning you want to try and get that going, that's obviously a one. Um, don't ash my for joint. smoking. Don't fucking suck on it like it's a dick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's like, a good one. That's a good uh, yeah, one. That, my wife hates me. I always tell the story. I, I would hide from her to smoke my my like my oh, like shit. mics and everything. I'd hide in the garage and I'd smoke them like halfway. <laughs> And then be like, hey, <laughs> hey, babe, you want to you yeah, want to yeah. smoke? We want to do laundry is what we call it because the kids. Do laundry, yeah. Yeah, you should come out to oh, smoke. Oh, that's cool. Because she just, she used to hit that fucker like, she's yeah. trying to get high, you know yeah, what I no mean? Doubt. So, like, no she doubt. doesn't care about enjoying it like I do. No so doubt. So, that's a big one with joints because it yeah, fucking runs fuck like crazy it'll and then it up. doesn't taste the same. So, yeah, that's a huge pet peeve if we're talking smoking. That's a good one, bro. What's the first smoking device you ever had to MacGyver? To MacGyver, uh, gravity bong. You were the uh, built, too, built man. crazy gravity bongs. We used to have this, this like uh, Doughboy Spa on in my parents' backyard. Okay. And we'd get the fucking Jesus, big, the, spa. the big Alhambra, and Whoa. we built like some tweaker ass gravity Whoa, bongs. Oh, so, yeah. buddy. You would get fucking hot. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah. The right way, not like take it down and hit it, like hold it. Take it all the way underwater and then let it go on a on a five gallon. Yeah. Oh my Shoot. god, bro. You'd die. Like your lungs would. Yeah. But you'd get so fucking yeah, high. Talk about yeah. lung expansion. Oh uh, yeah, that's the real deal. Pop a lung. I remember yeah. that like it was yesterday. That was like crazy. When we were young, we were getting fucking stoned. Fucking stoned. Yeah, all our bro. dogs were named Chronic, fucking Doja, wow. Pitbull Doja. Chronic no was the way, fucking German dude. Shepherd. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, you can't. You we were the real. We were a real deal. No you joke. Had a cool ass household. I took man. a break in between and tried to yeah. get fucking nerdy. You know what I mean? But we were the real deal. No joke. Definitely, bro. Bongs like a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. There was a lot of paraphernalia around my house too. We had cool cat names. They were more trippy though, like Razu and Mojo and shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Oh uh, yeah. They were cool, man. Um, and Mufasa. Mufasa. That little fucker. He hated me. You had cats? My brother's cat. Cat. We were, uh, yeah. we were cats. We had a shit ton we of dogs. dogs. We had just cats as many dogs, dogs as we had teenagers living there. You know oh, what I mean? It was like dogs, fucking yeah. hell of dogs. Yeah. All stray dogs. Like <laughs> oh my God, half beat down pit bulls. Too. You get bit by the so, dogs all nah, the time. Oh, no joke. Damn, dude. Yeah. That's fucking I had a boxer that was like a fucking great ass dog, but. Just a wild, a wild Boxers dog. Boxers are good dogs. Boxers are good dog. Yeah, they really are. Cool personalities. I've had so many dogs. Cool personalities. Yeah, it was a vibe. There's nothing more nostalgic about the first time you smoked weed. Let's hear your story. And uh, I was gonna ask if your parents were cool with it. I'm guessing <coughs> yes. They cool with me smoking weed? Yeah, like when you started. Yeah, I was. I mean, I so was like hiding first... it. I was hiding it for sure. In the, but yeah, okay. they were cool as fuck. We used to yeah. hot box the house nonstop. Nice, dude. You know. When we got a little bit older, yeah. um, first time smoking, <coughs> my cousin Chris, same, Shocker. you know, that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we had a like a little, um, I forget what they call it, but it's like owned by the government. There's by my house where it's like a green area. There's like a little pond and shit over there. Mm-hmm. Um, whatever, it's just like a a grassland area. So we uh, pitched a tent out there and smoked some bammer out of a pitched can a tent, pitched a tent and hot boxed it oh yeah. and nice. he forced me to Chris smoke too fucking around. no hell no oh, he was a savage he he was he was uh 
he was pretty hood. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he used to fight like every fucking day. He mm-hmm. was like a fucked up kid. Well, so, had hands too. But he was also his dad was my uncle would fucking whoop his ass. Yeah, you know what I mean? So he knew like anything he did, all the dirt he would hide like crazy. That's where I got gamed up because I'd be goofy and not give a shit. Yeah. And get caught with everything. But he was like a like he had to hide it. He would hide everything. So that was kind of the tent idea. I think we were hiding in the bushes, yeah. but we were hot boxing it. Didn't fucking know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, got yeah. crazy high though. I bet you did. Fuck, bro. Crazy bad. Yeah. <sighs> That's a rough one, man. Yeah. A hot box as a shorty. Ooh. For sure. So, I can't ask anybody this question. We kind of, I kind of asked it before, but do you have a crazy fucking gross story where shit just went fucking left? This shit was wild. I do. And could you share it with us? A little bit, yeah. I mean, I got it full on raid, lost like all my stuff, fucking went under investigation for a long Damn. time. Still to this day, I get weird shit. No I shit. Got a message from Google that they had a, had a warrant out for me and blah, blah, blah. And they, they extracted my information. Is so they had right? to give me like a notice. Yeah. No shit. Crazy. Yeah. So like the shit still goes on, but I mean it, that was old. I think it was just past sure. the timeline sure. that they could tell you, you know. Okay. So they're just like But yeah, I lost everything. Watching. Lost tons of genetics, lost fucking seed collections, lost Damn. It was a warehouse. My main guy got hit. Damn, dog. Cost me a ton of money and set me back pretty far, but <clears throat> Uh, that's one. I mean, there's a million things that happen for sure. We've we've had to shut down over and over and over again for yeah. like, you know, they're coming to uh, they were rental houses, so they would come to fucking oh, those inspect fun. yeah every what so often. But sure. a lot of them would give you like 24 hours notice, and you got a full on 10 lighter in a house. So what do you do? You know, you know what you're doing next. Break that hours. motherfucker down. Yep. Call every person you can that you mm-hmm. know to help, which is not much because we, you know, what we were doing. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, those were always mm. insane nights. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it, man. But that happened a lot. I believe it. Yeah. I believe it. Now give me your. The, you can smoke with two people, right? One dead, one that's still here with us. Who would they be? Uh, one dead would be my boy Jared. <coughs> Bringing a, a yeah. homie to the cipher. Yeah. I love that. Homie was like family. That. We'd smoke together nonstop. He used to get batches of uh, GDP from from uh, his neighbor. They were okay. like the best weed in the world. Mm-hmm. So I just I know him for cannabis heavily. So I definitely smoke with him. Yeah. I miss him a lot. <clears throat> Hell yeah! Yeah. Uh, so one alive. Us, yeah. Uh, fuck. I don't even know. Probably Snoop. Snoop. I don't know. I'd like to smoke with Snoop. Uncle Snoop. Yeah. Snoop's got to be What's on up, the list. Bro? Yeah. That's kind of corny, but. No, it's not. Snoop. That's one of, that, that'd be for sure mine, bro. Yeah. For sure mine. Because it'd just be a legendary cipher. It's like when you think of like check boxes in life. Like Snoop's on there. You know, I just brought my kid. Yeah, smoking with Snoop. It's yeah. like I I equate that to like I just brought my kids to Sicily and brought them to our villages. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Like yeah, it's a memory you'll never box. forget. Yeah, it was a checkbox. You know what I mean? Smoking with Snoop's a checkbox. Uh, yeah. As a stoner, you know what nah, I mean? Definitely. Grew up on Uncle Snoop. If your brand was a band, who would it be? And it could be multiple bands. A band that's uh, I don't pay attention to much. That's my you, problem. I don't watch TV. Do you listen to music? I do. It could be multiple bands. It could be rapper. It could be a fucking whoever, man. Who what, would we what be? We'd be fucking Death Leopard or something crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're a wild ass group. Fuck yeah, it's Death a vibe when, like it. when we throw events. I, like I it, think. Bro. I mean, you know, we just have fun. So it'd be someone fucking when you guys crazy. Pop out, you pop out. Yeah, we smoke big. We give out a lot. We fucking yeah, connect do. with people heavily. Yeah, you do. Like it's it's so. Legit. Yeah, man. You bump into my cool jeans at preferred. You fuck around, leave that motherfucker with a lanyard with some weed <laughs> on it. You know what I'm saying? Some fly swag. Yeah. I'll take care of you. Smoked out. They'll do. They do the right thing. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. That's what we shoot for. I mean, we're all like, you, do, man. you know, the industry. We're all fucking yeah, love man. the same you know, thing. You know what they want, baby. Mm-hmm. You know what they want. You might fuck around, run into Mike, and he'll hand you a fucking little Boy. cannon to go home with. Oh, he you know definitely would give you the like, Mike. Yeah. Yeah, no, bro. It's been on fire. <laughs> now it's time to shout out your favorite plug from back in the day, man. Who took care of you, bro? Who's good to you, man? My grandma. 
<laughs> oh my god. Nah, who sold me the tree? Most legendary fucking plug yeah, ever. Nah. Is you serious? Nah. Oh. Um, I was about to make this in My uncle, clip. we'd steal weed from him for sure, but uh, that ain't a plug. No, that's, well, I guess, yeah. I mean, yeah. stealing counts. Uh, we stole from my uncle. That's how I started selling weed. My cousin Anthony stole from Uncle Kev. Yeah. Put me on, you know what I'm saying? This dude, Jose, was a Hispanic dude from Yuba who would bring down cases of fucking Bammer. Let's but go. that was like the first, first, you know, Let's old school go. low rider. He was the real Let's deal fucking go. with his button up with all the crazy shit on it. You yep. know what I mean? He was yep. the real deal. He'd come with cases of Bammer. Mm. So that was, that was the first plug ever. So shout, shout out to, to him. Back? Yeah. You still in contact with him? Nah, hell nah. No doubt. No doubt. He was, he was uh, yeah, he was getting after it. Sure. Way back. Way back. So who knows what happened to him. For sure. So many variables in life. Yeah. So... Now it's time to shout out a mentor that had a big impact on your life. Who who who, who gave you some good game, bro? My dad, of course. Hell he's yeah. smart, always showed mad love, like you said, give big boost, but he's uh I come I go to him for advice. I have my parents, you know what I mean? Not everyone gets that You're gets right. that opportunity to have both of their parents that are together. So my dad and my mom shit. That's that's who I trust the most. That's blessing, bro. <clears throat> that's blessing. Hit me with the best advice and the worst advice somebody ever gave you. <laughs> no in particular order. Mm. Best advice uh, would be fucking work for it. Earn every bit of everything that you do, especially when you're in your industry and what you're doing right now and building something. Like, put in the work. Yeah. That's, the, that's the best advice I would give you. Absolutely. That's all it takes. That's all it takes, It doesn't cost you any money in the long run. I mean, you can... Get up early and fucking get after it. That's yeah, what right. I give you. Uh, worst advice? That's game. Smoke meth or something? I don't yeah, know. What's the worst bro. advice? <laughs> uh, bro, it's always the simple shit. Yeah. And it's always like a sentence long or two words or yeah. three words. Don't smoke meth. <laughs> that's great advice. That's, and that was some terrible advice. If <laughs> <laughs> somebody try to get you smoke meth. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> God damn. If yeah, you could go back to time. yeah oh yeah I'm gonna take I'm gonna tap that one more time We're in the hash now start yeah this is bad motherfuckers there start if you could go back to the young you before you jumped in the game what would you tell you before young Dave hopped off the porch and I know you jumped off the porch young <clears throat> yeah uh, shit a lot of little things but. Believe in yourself. That's what I. That's what. That's the first thing that I would fucking give myself advice. Believe in yourself because it took a long time to get there, and when that happened, all doors opened. Game over. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let me ask you this, bro. Are you in the psychedelics? Mm -mm. Shrooms, acid? No. I did a bunch of it when I was young. Yeah. That was another thing we were doing a lot. Yeah. Uh, Acid is like the craziest drug I've ever done. Yeah. That shit's insane. You got any wild stories for us? <laughs> Just all the all the shit that you hear on TV, it's the same. Like the wall melts. Yeah. I mean, it's like sure does. so much visuals and the feeling itself is... It's just nuts. We used wanna, to take vitamin C pills to chew those when we were on it. Bro, Remember that? Orange juice. The orange. Yeah, it's oh, gonna help my you God. more, bro. Yeah. My mom would know right yeah. away, you're on fucking acid. Oh, Sit your ass God. down. Are you okay? <laughs> you know, <laughs> Dave, you yeah. good? Um, oh yeah, that's good. You grew up in an environment like that where you didn't have to like scared of moms catching you and shit because that fucks your trip up. You know what I'm for saying? sure, no, it still did. Yeah, it did. Bro. You, you just don't, don't want to be moms. around people on acid. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a crazy ass drug. Yeah, I want to do like shrooms and like do the show. I've done micros. You know what I mean? Yeah. That just keeps me focused. But like. I want to try to send it. Do it. And get yeah, to the yeah. show. I'm Let's trying to think we'll about do who to do it. You want to do it with me? <laughs> yeah. Hell we'll yeah. do some shrooms? Oh, uh, so I'll, you heard I'll it. I'll microdose. Oh, uh, you're going to micro? No, yeah. we got to send it. At least send a gram. It. At yeah. least, no, we're not going to send it. Just at least a gram of some, like, some strong shit. <laughs> yeah, that would probably get a little wild. <laughs> get a little wild. We're not going to script it, nothing. <laughs> For we're sure. Just gonna get, we're just going to send it. All right, brother. Before we wrap up, I'm going to hit you with some, uh, some rapid fire questions. Mm -hmm. One word answers. Okay, so try to keep it one word. Ready? Yeah. Do you like to smoke in the hot or the cold? Cold. Joints or blunts? Joints. Bongs or bowls? Bongs. Cold start or hot start? 
Mm, not much of a dabber, but cold start. Smart man. Flavor. Yeah. Street smarts or book smarts? Street smarts. Batman or Superman? Batman, for sure. <laughs> Insane. Haze or sour? Sour. Nas or Jay-Z? Nas. Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat? Street Fighter. Regular doinks or hash holes? Regular doinks. Passed out or I'm smoking this to the face? Pass that. Favorite Ninja Turtle? Michelangelo. 80s or 90s? 90s. NorCal or SoCal? NorCal. Pizza or tacos? Tacos. <laughs> he was about to say it, bro. I was about to, yeah. Uh, oh, I got to be real. Tacos. Yeah, be real, man. It's good, yeah. bro. It's your truth. Pizza with pineapples or no pineapples? No pineapple. My oh, man. Tacos or burritos? Tacos. Beach or snow? Beach. In and out or five guys? In and out. Cheetos or flaming hot Cheetos? Mm, flaming hot. The Wire or the Sopranos? Mm, I haven't even watched The Wire, but I'll say Sopranos since I have. Pacino or De Niro? De Niro. Godfather 1, 2, or 3? Mm, 1. Automatic or revolver? Auto. Smoke Disty Carts or last year's outdoors for one month? <laughs> Damn. I'm going to go with last year's outdoors. <laughs> so many do. <laughs> It's flower. You, yeah. You're lost in the woods. You get a pack of matches or a hatchet. What are you going with? Matches. You getting hatchet chased? Would be nice, though. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you getting chased by a bear or a shark? Which one are you going with? Bear. You're getting chased by a cocaine bear or a cocaine shark. Which one? <laughs> Coked out bear. <laughs> shot headshot or body shot by Mike Tyson. Body shot. Go for the body. For sure. Shot a one fifty one or a hot dab. One fifty one. And gelato runs terps or OG gas terps? OG gas. Tupac or big? Tupac. Wu Tang or Death Row? Wu Tang. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Good shit, my brother. Great fucking times I had with you, man. Hell yeah. So at this That's point, good. brother, let's uh, let's just share with the people how we met, and uh, who do you know that I should know that I should get on the show? Uh, so we just, met we met at the pop up. I pop think it was Doja's, yeah, yeah in yep. Sacktown, yep. downtown, yep. at the uh, the smoke the mm -hmm. smoke shop. Mm -hmm. Um. And then I would I would have to say Cosmo, but Cosmo. you're already tapped no, in. No, that's a beautiful thing, yeah. man. He's coming on next week. For sure. Coming on next week. I'm excited for that, That's man. who I'd love to see more than anyone, I think. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Well, yo, whatever we could do to help you in my network, how can I reach into my network and help the mission? What do you want to plug right now? Please plug it by Just all Just check means. us on IG, um, at preferred underscore gardens. There's hella fake pages, but you can you can find the real real deal, uh, okay. especially if you're following me, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, website, preferredgardens.com. I mean, just watch out for all the new shit. We're dropping all different kinds of craziness. We don't stop. There's no stopping us. you goddamn right. <laughs> preferred gardens in this bitch, man. Hell Dave, yeah. thanks for coming Appreciate through, you. my brother. It's been real, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Check my man Dave, Preferred Gardens, the whole Preferred crew, man. They're killing it, man. You already know if it's in this red box, it's some good fucking pizza. We'll see you guys next time, man. Thanks for hooking up, man. Peace, love, good pizza. We up out here.